Okay, so we'll call the meeting to order now at 5 30. Okay. Okay, hey, uh, Chair. Can we get a roll call? Chair Vanella? Here. Good night, Chair Garson? Here. Board Member Montanti? Here. Board Member Anderson is currently absent. Uh, Board Member Roberts? Here. Board Member Ramirez will be absent today in Main Street Manor. We have a change. Okay, so we'll get the meeting started without further ado. Uh, the first section is public comments. If anyone has a public comment, you have three minutes to make your comments. Is there anyone in the audience with public comment? Where do I need to go? Uh, to that right microphone. Right that mic. yeah. Before you speak, please press the button on the yeah. mic until the light is green. Does that actually start the time? Yeah, no, no, that actually starts that you can talk. He okay, well, hang talk. on, I got different questions right there. So does it actually? Start I will time you. So it does start when I hit the button. No, no it, it starts, starts now. when he hits the button. Okay, go ahead. You. Here we go. Perfect. All okay. right. My name is uh, Zachary Stone, and I have Robert's Rules of Orders here. Brought it last night to the city council meeting. Um, they don't follow the rules at all. Cut my public comment short by about 30 seconds last night. Can't exactly figure out why, so I'm going to be foying a little bit of follow up on that. Just emailing right there with uh, Council Member Middleton regarding Brenda Pre, who is the FOIA coordinator, I'm finding out, also the city clerk. She's the one that cut my time short last night. I don't know why. It's really, really odd. So I just wanted to show up to this meeting to see how you guys conducted your meetings because, you know, I really enjoyed Village Fest and last night was a budget meeting. So I know Village Fest, you know, has a budget item as well. So just making sure I'm keeping her germane to the agenda item right here since we're public comments right this second, even though it doesn't have to be to the agenda, right? That was really pretty much. Can you pause that for one second? Pause for one second. Okay, is your comment, is it related to Village Fest? Because as it even says here in the document, um, general interest within the subject matter jurisdiction of, of the Village Fest board. So right, the, right, so last night was a budget meeting and that has to do, that's why I said there's a budget. That no, no, no. Do. does it have to do with Village Fest or the business of Village Fest? No, it does because the budget does. If, if, there, if there's an appropriation that happens and that's what What's happens. What's your time up? Yeah, put the time on. So Carry if, on. If there's an appropriation that happens, okay. then it is germane to business. Does that make sense? I don't agree, but go ahead. That's fine. It's not an it's not that's fine. Have to agree yeah. on. There's no, I know that. And that's why I'm saying so. Then go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I'll fix that bucket. Yeah. I'm sure, we get this right here. So it's called Robert's Rules of Order. It's really, really important. And fact, including asking the question what you did needs to have a certain way that's asked. So I'll start reading this at some point once these meetings are actually conducted the way they're supposed to be conducted. How much time do I have? You're at one minute and 30 seconds. Sweet. This is, I guess I'm getting trained to get cut off about the 30 second time limit early. But um, really, that was it. I just wanted to show up and just uh, let the city clerk know that I'll continue to show up to these meetings until they're actually conducted the way they're supposed to be. And I'll keep my comments the way they're supposed to be conducted within that framework as well. So, how much time we got? You're at 154. Ooh, guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let me get out of here. I'm not going to take up any more time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Moving right along. Next section is board comments. Five minute limits per person. Any of the board members have comments? Uh, the only comment I'll make is that we do have our study work session, as you know, this week. And um, you've received the information. We're also waiting on Jeffrey Bernstein may want to attend the meeting to address the group, and we're waiting to hear back from the secretary on that. Okay, so the um, agenda is a little bit fluid in that we'll have to slide them in. Okay. I have not received any new data, Faith. Um, we can still work with the old data that we have. That's oh, fine. I can send it to you. Would you like it tomorrow? If you'd like, okay. or otherwise, we can work with the old data. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I, you, this is in line with that. Faith, you got my addition to the agenda. I did. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. Hi, David. Hello. Sorry. Hi, David. Welcome. You, you didn't miss much. We just had public comment. Now we're on board comments. Okay. All right. Any other board comments? Okay. Moving right along. Um, correspondence. Looks like we do have a letter from one of the food vendors. Desmond? Yes, we do. Uh, one of our relatively um, 
new food vendors, um, which is a taco vendor, uh, wrote in just to address two issues. One is uh, a logistical issue on site that Faith and I dealt with last week, so we should have that resolved. But the first issue that he brought forward had to do with duplication of food services on the street, which I know this board has mm -hmm. contemplated for um, a couple meetings now and is uh, an item on your next agenda. So I do believe that we'll be able to kind of hash out some of the details yep. uh, regarding duplication of food vendors mm -hmm. at Village Fest at that meeting. Um, so we will let the vendor know that it is scheduled for one of your um, study sessions okay. and that uh, we'll be back afterwards. Right. Okay. Um, I saw I saw one mention in there that said that when they were jury that we said that we wouldn't have any vendors with the same product. And I think I think that was probably mistranslated from us um, saying that we're trying to achieve better diversity, which is really what it was. So unfortunate. OK. All right. Without further ado, let's go on to the consent calendar. Um, I know um, we're going to agree on the agenda and on the minutes there are two sets of minutes one of them is from the 28th of january march, uh, march, march, march sorry 28th, and um, we can't approve that one because we don't have a form right so for that. board member montanti and anderson were absent and we need uh, uh four people to vote yeah. on it in order for it to be mm -hmm. so we will place it on your uh agenda for friday's study session okay all right yes mm -hmm. And as far as the agenda posted for this meeting, as well as the minutes from, are there any other minutes we have to? Approve? April 11th. It's April 11th. And the only person who can't vote is Ramirez, who's not here. Okay. So, can I do them both as one vote? Yeah. Okay. So, can I get a motion? To... I move that we accept the minutes of July, I mean, uh, April. 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 April 11th. 11th. I'll second. Go ahead. Seconds. Go ahead. You okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Um, can I get a motion on the agenda for today? I, I know, but it wasn't mentioned in the motion. Oh. It's a separate motion. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I move that today's agenda be accepted. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Great. Moving right along, um, on to the vendors. This is the section where we review and jury vendors. Uh, the first vendor up is Mellow's Barbecue and Catering, Joseph Adams. It's a food service serving ribs, brisket, pulled pork, chicken links, hot dogs, potato salad, chips, collard greens, spaghetti, sweet potato. Can we see the um, the, um folders? Welcome. Okay, so you have three minutes to present to us what it is you want to do at Village Fest. Then the board members may have questions, and then we will embark on a vote. Okay. Well, we would encourage the various members to diverse speaking, that you guys don't have right now with barbecue. And you have some pretty good barbecue. We are known all over. We got followers all over California. Uh -huh. and, um, I've been hearing about the British Festival for about a couple of years now. And COVID came, and I couldn't get in. I don't think it's going on then. But now it's not here. I'm trying to get in and hopefully bring some good food to you guys. I have some samples over here. You guys want me to grab them? Sure. Sure. Uh, some meat sandwiches and the rest of that. You can plus that until you get started. Uh, it's not the fuck. What's the fuck? I know. Right. It's just your dog. One time, I said, I'm joking. And I said, do you guys have any comments on our role as a group? Yeah, I didn't want to feel it, but, but we are going around. So. Yeah, we are nice. Okay, wait. So, oh, I see. This is one and one. Oh, you have one? Oh, my gosh. Are there four? Is there anything here? Coming around. I think I've done every bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to pick this up with my hands here because I, I can't, you know. I've been known to. Yeah. 
They have a little experience. Yes, sir. Okay, good. As you can you tell, I got a little bit of experience. But yeah, hope you guys like it. So where are where are you located? Do you have a stationary store or I actually have a food truck right now? I was in the middle of getting a restaurant in Dining, California, but then the day before I got the keys, I was so on TV that everything was getting shut down. Uh -huh. so I had to back off of the contract, and then when I was bought a food truck, to try and make up for being home more, you know? So uh, now I have a food truck, and I'm trying to get the brick and mortars at some point. I was hoping to uh, get in somewhere in this city here. Well, you know, we've been in an incubator for some this this village fest we had smash burger i don't know if you heard of them but they started out as one of our vendors and then they located to their own restaurant it's actually heyday heyday hey i'm yeah. sorry I they serve smash better. burger i meant heyday heyday burgers was one um brandini toffee is another they actually started at village fest and i'm told that so did um towny bagels yeah someone told me about it i don't remember uh -huh. Yeah, so 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 that's actually in our goal set is for businesses like you to be able to get started out here as an incubator and then actually be able to move on to brick and mortar if you so choose to. I have a question about the food truck. So two questions. One is currently is the food truck like in a in one spot consistently or do you go around to different fairs? How does that work for you? Um you can do different private events, um wedding birthday parties. Things of that nature. Um, and then sometimes I do like city uh, festivals or, um, you know, the local get togethers. I do those most of the time. But I try to stick to private events, but this event is what I really want to try to come. I've been hearing about this event when I first started off with just a canopy. I had a canopy and a table with a barbecue pit. And then I went to a, another market that, um, San Jacinto Market. I don't know if you've heard of it, but yep. those guys that went over there and they said, hey, there's a market, you know, Palm Springs that would love to have you guys there. And then I was like, well, let me see, I had something going on. I was trying to get into a restaurant at that time. Mm -hmm. I was trying to, so I didn't get a chance to get in here. But once all these things happen, uh, I'm looking to get in here and make, make it happen. Uh, okay. Make you guys happy. And so, at the same time, I build, I build here. So as far as the food truck goes, it sounds like you're you're doing private events. Yes, is there any place like are you every week at I don't know College of the Desert or something like that? Like who's actually eating your food from the truck these days, other than a private event? When I first walked home, well, now I actually. go a little bit everywhere. Most of the time I'm in that I bought my California. I would buy a swap meet. They have a swap meet out there. Yeah, you can park over there, or I used to park out here sometimes. Yeah. Um, on, it's like so I was on mountain before I'm done with my canopy and tables. Yeah. And uh, I did pretty good. Okay, understood. I have that following out here. Okay, great. This is really yeah. like, That's uh, really what I was getting at. I wanted to think really about new, really new of your food. First saw that I can do what yeah. I was trying to do. People get me just stuff and yeah. I don't know if they can do it. And they find out they can't. But then I got into it and I found out here in this city, me and my fiance here, we uh we came out with tables, canopies some days with windy and crazy. <laughs> and we made a decent living on, on this side good. of the road. And I said, man, I have good to, to hear something. Yeah, good and to I hear. You guys, I did good out here on the side of the road. Yeah. Then I found out you guys actually have an event like this. Well, be ready. You're going to be very busy on Thursday yeah, you night. Are. Your food is really good. Yeah, yeah it, it is really it is, good. It is good. Um, so as far as the truck goes, oh, I had do, question. Do, you have, do you have intention to do to do a booth or to just pull in your truck? You're going to serve from the truck, right? Yeah, okay, I'm really sorry, guys. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to ask you. Oh, probably on the same. Oh, oh do you, uh, where, so do you want to be year round in the, in the that's festival? What I want. That's okay. What I, want. I want to be here every Thursday year round. Okay. Right. You know, so our summers do get a little hot. I don't get, I've been out there with a canopy in the summertime. Oh. In, okay. In the 
Yes, I know how hot it gets. That's why now, thank God, I have an air conditioner. It's bad here. You know, I don't have to sit there busy anymore. Like I have so many customers out here. I have, it looks like I got pictures of it. It looks like in and out on Mountain Dillon. I mean, I have so many customers. And then I, uh, okay. And, okay. okay. All right. So your three minutes is up. Um, question for our staff. Um, we don't have a barbecue. We don't. Can do, do it. No. Well, okay. You would have to <laughs> there you go. Can I make a motion? Can I ask a question? Sure. I have to ask. I've never heard of barbecue Same spaghetti. Thing. What is it? It's it's spaghetti. Barbecue spaghetti. <laughs> Um, I smoked the ground beef. I had corn, olives, and mushrooms. Something I grew up on. Something that's really good. And oh, I've got to try it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try so many things. I know, I know. But I got no, 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 no. We don't expect you to pull in your truck and feed us at all. I mean, this is the main thing. Yeah. Thank you. Um, inside there, we do have to do uh, one rib, uh, foot pork, brisket, and chicken inside those. Yeah, it's the, it's very tender. Yeah. The whole pork's really good. That's why I forgot to taste it. Gotta put and uh, strawberry shortcakes. Yeah. Now you're gonna fatten us up, huh? <laughs> okay. So I like to make I like to make a motion that we accept Milo's barbecue to the festival. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Congratulations okay. and welcome to the Village Fest family. Welcome. Um. You had a comment? Well, I was just going to say, I'm from Memphis. I know a thing about, mm -hmm. about barbecue. A thing or two. <laughs> you know, the full point is fantastic. I wish you'd sub collard greens for turnip greens. Then I'd be Ooh. really happy. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Getting a special order in there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, you'll be in touch with uh, Seth. You'll be in touch with the office with uh, Faith, and she'll set you up for orientation as well as with a start date and positioning and the rest. Okay. Perfect. All right, thank, thank you. you. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you for the delicious food. Okay, without further ado, um, One Dream Design, Hong Rubenstein, Arts and Crafts, Handmade Pottery, Vases, Sinks, Soap, Sinks, Soap Pumps, Mugs, Bowls, Platters, and Plates. When you say sinks, you mean like a ceramic sink that you yeah, put. Oh, oh wow! Okay. Wow. They used to be the. We were vendors here for uh, twenty years. Oh, I, I read your. I yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've seen yeah. you. Yeah, I've seen your product. You have beautiful things. I don't know. Should we pass it around? No, you don't. No, don't pass those around. We don't. <laughs> 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 beautiful stuff. So, all right, so you have three minutes. Can you tell us a little bit about your process or your product or what you want to do sure. at George Fest? Whatever, you have three minutes. It's uh, handmade on the Potter's Wheel here in Palm Springs. Um, uh, they're all one-of-a-kind pieces, and we do a special firing process called uh, macro crystalline glaze. We mix all our own glaze recipes from scratch. Wow. And uh, it's what creates the kind of iridescent effect in the best around small ones you can Oh, I'll hold it there carefully. Yeah. I break jewelry, yeah. So I'm very careful. Gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. They're very cool. Actually, I've turned on that. Oh, you touch it. Do you teach classes too? No, we don't oh. teach any classes. This is art store quality. This is beautiful. Yeah. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Did you do well? Your prices are up there, yeah. but did you do well when you were here before? Yeah, great. Really great. We did Heavy well. too. That's great. Wow. Like, I'm glad to hear it. Know, this is one car. Very light. That's awesome. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. You know, yeah. so it's kind of hit or miss. You porcelain? Know. Well, uh, porcelain and stoneware both. Beautiful. I used to throw pottery with that. Very nice. And this piece is a mix. The handles are made out of copper plated pewter. Please We're keep that in your hands, hand, though, so we don't yeah. yeah. Beautiful. What does a piece like this go for? Uh, around yeah. 2500 Yeah, I love the seahorses. I just saw the picture of it. Yeah, it's a seahorse on one side of the other. Did you see that? Yeah. A seahorse on one, and yeah. she's riding the That's seahorse on the other. Amazing. Oh. Absolutely And these beautiful. are bronze? No, it, it's, oh. it's pewter and then copper-plated pewter. Oh, okay. Beautiful. And you do all the metal work as well, or are those pieces I, that you I made the uh, I made the sculpture out of clay, and then it's a long process, but yeah. basically make the sculpture out of clay, scan it in three D, 
and then print it out in resin, make a mold, and then uh, cast the pewter from it. So you actually have a nail in that? Is that a nail? And then it's... It's a, it's a screw thread. It's screwed into Really it. nice. Yeah. Yeah. So are they all strong. unique? Or? Everyone is one of a kind. Okay. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Really high quality, too. Very high quality. Okay, any questions from any of the board members? I mean, I, I don't think there's anything to ask here Did at all. Did you stop because of COVID? Yeah. Okay. We, we were doing almost every Thursday night, except for the summer, you know, um, and then COVID hit, and we, you know, couldn't come anymore, so. Well, Did you have sales every week, or, or every, was it? Every week, yeah. Wow, good. We're glad you're back. We're yeah. glad you're back, too. It's this very is, creative, very beautiful. Do you sell so any so of your items level. in retail? Are they in retail um, arenas anywhere? Yeah. Well, we have a couple galleries that buy from us wholesale, and then we go to bigger, Local galleries, or? Uh, one in Alaska and one in... Okay, uh, that wouldn't be local. Two yeah. <laughs> Two bus doesn't there, matter and one in uh carefree arizona but there's none here else. here in palm springs or no, in valley okay no, here in palm springs and yeah. um we go to some of the bigger art shows you know mm -hmm. like uh southwest. beverly hills will be there well you went to la quinta we, art festival this year uh no but we did the southwest southwest, southwest. okay yeah that was in more, yeah. okay yeah. all right i'm going to make a motion that we accept absolutely one dream design into the village fest and i'll second all in favor Aye. 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 any opposed no welcome back yeah. to the village yeah. fest family i'll say to you absolutely beautiful exactly. we look forward to having you back and, and you know the, the process <laughs> You're kidding. Me. I was just joking. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, never heard of it. Do we have the I other, the third fragrance, the black? Uh, that's the third fragrance in vinyl bikini. Okay. Did you get black flower cactus? No, we didn't. Okay. So I brought it back to you. Our candle. It's the one that was, do you mind coming back down? They love it. I'll just smell it. Oh, wow. This one smells really nice. Thank you. What and which one is this? On the bottom, maybe? I don't that know. That one's vinyl bikini. That's the new one that had indigo waters, That's jasmine, so strong. and um, uh, uh, um, vinyl bikini. Okay. So, so indigo waters is a fragrance oil that's cool. actually manufactured by the uh, company called General Wax. It's a big company okay. in Burbank, California, where all the candle makers go to get their supplies. They also teach candle making, and that's where I learned. And I have a certificate in candle making from them. And they also sell a variety of waxes and different containers. So this is also where I source my 100% soy. No. So question I have, um, do you find that these kind of jars burn all the way to the bottom or just burn to the middle? Because I've never had good luck with these kind of jars. I actually test them out really, really well because I want to make sure that they do have a nice fragrance good and, and that nice they fragrance. do burn very evenly and smoothly mm -hmm. in the jar, the down. all the way down. Well, I also want to make sure that the jar doesn't get you know, super hot mm -hmm. as well. So I've really done my due diligence to test these jars. That's why I actually... That. The 16 ounce but jar is the newest one. So if you go to my website, you see that I now offer them in four ounce, eight ounce, 16 ounces. And if you recall the last time I was here, I had the cuss. You had the big one. Yes. Yeah. I didn't bring the really the big real big one. one you left on the center of the Yes. Here. So this is the velvet steam roller, which is named after me. It's not someone that steam rolls, it's someone that basically since I have a production background, it's someone that knows how to manage multiple personalities, different levels of people moving between an executive staff and a creative staff, and being a producer and moniker that I'm So, okay. can you tell me what Aunt Mary? Oh, we are what now. Flavor okay, we we've we're at four and a half minutes. We're supposed to only go to three, oh. but okay, sorry. I'm, so. I'm curious as to what Aunt Mary is. Anybody have any questions? For her? Yeah, so she that's one question. question. Yeah, that is a question. <laughs> No, I was trying to make the point that we're on the question for now. Sorry. Aunt Mary, what flavor, what yes, scent now, is Aunt that? Aunt Mary is what I now make. Before, when I was here, I'm, I don't think you were at that first meeting. There was an issue with that particular candle. The sativa? Yeah. yeah, because I was using a cannabis sativa essential oil, even though it had no cannabis or THC uh -huh. in it. There was a problem with me having that on the label. So what I did was I ended up making the Aunt Mary essential oil myself so that way i don't have to have any sativa uh on the label at all okay so you're not answering my question <laughs> i have to what is an aunt mary What's oh it's an essential oil just with um steam distillation from a hemp flower from so you're still you're still using some type of cannabis because it smells like cannabis well, it has clove, patchouli, and citrus. So it's not so But it also smell. has Aunt Mary, and Mary is another name for cannabis. You know that, don't you? Aunt Mary. That's the new marketing name, yes. And that's the name of my essential oil. Well, we can't do that. But what I'm saying is Aunt Mary Mary is a uh, is another... Right. It's a roundabout way of saying cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what I was asked was to remove sativa yeah. from the label. Oh, yeah. it, I wasn't asked to change the ingredients of the candle. It was just that You're right. You're you right. market yeah, yeah. to a family-friendly uh, audience, and you are from a parks and recreation. So what I did was I made sure that I removed the sativa and did exactly what I was asked to do. And that's all I was asked to do. We're talking about Okay. Is that the 64 ounce? That is the 32. That's and that the means the container. Yeah, the okay. 64 yeah. ounces double this feel? size is really high. Dude. And those are custom made. Those are huh? basically <laughs> ordered by you know, the people that may have large homes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you burn that, it's going to smell like I don't want that. I don't want that. So these would always be a but I have to bring them up. Could be there. Now, can I ask you? Um, I recall with your um, with your um, 
business model here that there was a number of series that were coming out. I think there were television series. Am I right? These are named after a television series, but there's only three series. Okay. So, and is that the end of it or is it going to be more series? No, this is going to be the end. Are you doing any other sense beyond this in the, in the future to vary your line or, or are you happy with your line being the three cents? Right now, I'm happy with the Nandala designs for the three fragrances. Okay. And again, since they are named after television series, we are in production on these series, so that does take some time as well. So for now, these will be the three fragrances that we'll be launching under TBS. It's already on our website, and they're already, you know, they were basically created as a way to market TV series. I think we remember, yeah, we, yes. we, we heard those. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have something to say. So what is the meaning of that, Mary? A regional popular term for marijuana. Yeah. So... The yeah, only, I was only yeah. asked to change sativa. Understood. So that's understood. What I did. Understood. Okay. But we're we're we get to vote on this now and scrutinize it. So, but if somebody knows that that uh, Mary is marijuana, yeah. then we're basically saying you're calling a candle marijuana. And I th I think more of concern is you know these are going to probably be burning at the booth, right? I can imagine burning that candle. It's going to smell like somebody is smoking marijuana. They actually, um, I don't burn them all at the booth, but I okay. do burn them after you COD when I do that pop up once okay. a month. Um, I've now been invited to have a store next to the new Shorebird at the shops of El Paseo. And about 30 mm -hmm. retailers are interested now in the candle line around Palm Desert and Palm Springs since I last saw you. And I'm also going to be opening wholesale this summer starting with the Las Vegas market in July. So these candles have really attracted a lot of attention. And the only thing I could say is that at the COD, uh, no one comes up as far as this smells like weed. The combination I created, I wanted it to smell fresh and to basically induce people into a relaxed state while they meditate or do yoga or something to wind down their night. So it was never to uh, make a popular uh, for anyone to do drugs. It is about no, of course, no, 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 one's saying that. No yeah, one's saying that. So don't, don't take know, that from me. Meditative like that. wellness life. Miss King, are you willing to omit the candle that smells like marijuana and, and, and participate with your other products? Are you willing to do that? Um, that is the flagship candle. So That's that black is. Flag. Yeah, that right is the now. one everyone wants. And if you see, that is the first um, um, rendition. Uh, yes, rendition of it. That's the one that Nordstrom's and Hallmark all did pop ups and really wanted. And then I fell ill from a car accident and I had to, you know, take some time out. And this is now me doing it all on my own, starting all over again. So are really? you in all these other venues? I mean, how are you going to be able to? If with all those other things you've got going, how are you going to do the Village Fest on a weekly basis? Well, these are opportunities that I say have now come my way since, you know, God has blessed me to, you know, since the last time we saw you and my friends were here and I understood you wanted some changes mm -hmm. made. God has blessed me with more opportunities. So I'm just letting you know that there is a lot of interest in this. I actually relocated to Palm Springs, Palm Desert, actually to be able to participate in Village Fest and to grow my business in this area, being that it is a resort town with a lot of spas and retreats. Well, can you answer, because we're running out of time, yeah. can you answer Greg's question? Are you sure. willing to eliminate that one fragrance from your life? She said no. I think your answer was no. That well, that's I would your... prefer, you know, for What's it your answer, to be yes or no? It's a yes or no. Will right. you eliminate that scent if we are to approve, approve you as a vendor for Village Fest? Well, I think that you guys asked me to remove sativa, so that's what I did. I don't think the most, you know, I'm not sure what to say about eliminating it because I followed your instructions. Fine, thank you. I'd like to make a motion. Okay. Sure. I move that we disapprove this vendor um, at this time because she does not want to remove that scent, and I don't think it's appropriate for Village Fest. I'll second that. I will just, just because we have a first and a second, you do have the ability to approve the vendor. Minus that, she's not one. I didn't say that. Right. I just said 
I did not say I would not take it on. It would leave the, the, would leave the option I still open this for her to participate with the two that you have approved. I, I, I would say uh, if, if that was the case, I'd have to see the whole thing all over again without the names of everything on it. So even, I, even the photographs still have a lot of cannabis and sativa and the, I mean, what photographs? In, uh, in your file, we have a motion in a second. Yeah, we, yes, have, we have a motion on, on the floor. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a motion in a second. So, yeah, take a look. unless you want to, does anyone want to offer an amended motion? David or. Yeah, because this is recorded and I didn't say no, I wouldn't do well, that. Well, let me ask you one more time. I will amend my motion. Will you omit that scent from your booth at Village Fest if we approve you? If we approve you only with the other two cents, are you still interested are in you doing Village Fest? Willing to do I it? would be interested in Village Fest to do the other two. Okay. Will you? Will, okay. You will omit that scent. I need you to say to me, please, that you will omit that scent from your product. Your that is the only way I can participate in Village Fest. That's fine. I'll do the okay. other one at the COD. Okay. Great. Okay. Then let's so amend then, the. Let's go again with, with the motion. I here. will move that we accept a velvet steam roller in the Village Fest minus the candle that is Aunt Mary. Minus the candle that has any yeah. cannabis Scent ingredient relatives. or byproduct or scent. And yeah. that's these two. Vinyl bikini, which was the fresh scent, and the velvet steam roller, which was the hydrangea scent. So and it has Aunt Mary in it. No, this doesn't that have does it. not. Yeah. No, she's saying that it would be those two at her yes, booth. Yes, yeah. these are again. Yeah. Those the are the ones you're going to show. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. And okay. I'll second Greg's motion. I, the amended motion. I want to add to that that if we do check on this vendor out, which we all walk street fair, and if we do find that candle, candle then it's going to be eliminated altogether. Clearly. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Yeah. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so just to be clear, so we've approved you, and we're happy to have you at Village Fest and your candles, and they're lovely, um, but you cannot have the one that has cannabis or the cannabis product or extract in it. Um, or the name. Yeah, or, or, or the name, and if you come forth with any further sense, you have to come before us to be juried, which anyone would have to. You have to come before <laughs> us to be juried again for that. Um, additional product okay? okay and we do take compliance very seriously no one's accusing you but we have had issues in the past with some vendors where once they get on the streets and they start adding things and yeah no i know okay. i have a friend so I just who want to make it bracelet quick. and there's oh, okay. things she can't have at village fest that she has at okay. cod so right. i know you guys yeah. can have stipulations right. being that you are from parks and recreation mm -hmm. so that is something i kept in mind before i came back in front of you yeah. but if that is you know, something in which yep. would ruffle feathers and you feel it wouldn't suit your brand, then that's totally But fine. you're going to do well with the yeah, other thank you. Yeah. 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 And if you decide to re-engineer the other one to, to, to remove any cannabis extract, because I'll be honest, I opened the candle and it smelled like weed to me. So, so it's going to smell like that. Yeah. All right. So if, if you should come up with any other sense, uh, you can come back to us for, okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Congratulations. Welcome to Village Fest. And you'll be in touch with um, the office with the Faith um, to get you set up for orientation and for a start date. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And thanks for coming back. What was that? Oh. That was five six. What was it? Is it Thank velvet steamroller? Was the was the? No, that was mom. Um, and. No, no, no. That was that That's was a, that, that was an ingredient. But what was the name of the candle? That was called Aunt Mary. Velvet steam roller, I believe. I think it was called yeah. velvet steam roller. No, that's yeah, the one. Black black that's black black that's five five C. You're looking for Aunt flower. Mary. Oh, black flower. Yeah. Minus black flower. Yeah. Cactus, black cactus. And the word Aunt Mary. Black cactus, is it? Yeah, that's what it was. Cactus. Black cactus. Cactus. Cannabis. Cannabis. No Aunt Mary. Huh? No Aunt Mary. Okay. No Aunt Mary. That was okay. Without further ado, uh, the next vendor up is Papa Heads, Matthew Moreno, food service, burgers, fries, lemonade, carne asada, and chicken ranch. Is patchouli allowed? Yes. Yeah, yeah patchouli is all going to be. Yeah, yeah. no. Oh, okay. No, that. That is. You, 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 you,
gosh. We're going to have food for a week. Right. <laughs> what are you going to wow every time you would say? Yes. Yes. That is yes. fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, me too. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, one curve one? Weighty paper. We're, we're yeah. sharing. Oh, huh? you can. You I'm going to put the fries in the middle and you guys can just. You guys are the I know. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I'll just set them in. These are our buffalo chicken, our cheeseburger fries, and our barbecue chicken ranch. Like I said, they've been sitting for a while. Oh, yeah. Shut your mouth. So, uh, are these <laughs> the same? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, they're all single cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Gosh. And this is what? Pop ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we this specialize in French fries. No, no, I know his brother's oh. He was my vendor. He was my vendor. Oh, really? Yeah, so we do specialize in French fries. We just yeah. added this cheeseburger and the sandwich. And since then, it's really helped our business. Well, yeah. I mean, so. Oh, here's Porsche, by the way. Huh. Oh, oh, by the way, here's Porsche. Anybody need a fork? Wait, no, we need a fork. No, we need a fork. Oh, fries you want? Oh, oh, they can't even talk now because her mouths are full. Enjoy. Julie, did you? Oh, you know burgers. Did you? Okay, so I'm going to make a, a, a little disclosure here. I've known Matt since he was before he was born. I know his father. Oh my goodness! And he is a hardworking boy. Him and his wife, and they started this this Papa Heads. He's been in front of my store several times, and the line goes out the door and around the corner. So his burgers are to die for. His Very good. fries, when they're warm, are to die for. They're, they're delicious. And there's nothing you are they cold? I, don't know. I, don't know. I didn't, haven't had them. But his father and I go back way 35 years. You know that cold makes a hangover really food. Mm -hmm. Makes a good hangover food when it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I would know what a hangover And he is, can right? come down my way. He can stay by me. Yeah. <laughs> Sundays are usually our better days. It's so delicious. It's like a meal for food. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Especially the French fries. So where else are you located? Where else do you? Um. So for the last two years, we sold to India. Uh, we set up in India. Um, mm -hmm. In 20. 22, uh, Friday through Saturday in our tent um, on Indio Boulevard and Jackson Street. Uh, we sit up there and we managed to uh, save up enough to buy a food truck um, in December. That's when we added the cheeseburger because we had the equipment to do so. Um, and then since then, we moved to the front of the Indio Mall um, and we sold there Wednesday through Sunday consistently uh -huh. up until the first wow. week of April. Uh, the city had a new ordinance and it shut us down. Um, so we just shut down and we've been doing private events and catering since then. And uh, Village Fest would be one of the days that we do sell openly to the public. And then we do, we'll sell on DHS on Fridays as well. We also do um, the YMCA bike football event okay. whenever they do have it. Um, so yeah, we, we did focus on bringing people to us as opposed to going to people. Um, but now we do. So you do all the cooking in your... Uh, uh, your truck? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You'll be cooking to order, ma'am? Yes, sir. Everything is made to order. We try to, uh, we don't do delivery. Or we don't do phone orders because we want people to have the best experience possible. What's the food. cheese on the burger? Uh, American cheese. American cheese. Just American cheese? Yes, sir. What is chicken ranch? That says that's one of the items here. Buffalo chicken ranch, sorry. What does that so mean? We have a buffalo chicken ranch. I put chicken ranch because we have a buffalo chicken ranch and a barbecue chicken ranch. Is that on the fry? What does that mean, though? When you say ranch, is that a sandwich or is that like a dressing? It's a dressing. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Ranch. It's it's oh, ranch. oh, it's the dressing on that. Oh, 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 sorry. Gotcha. And is the lemon? I'm just curious. Is the uh, is your uh, lemonade homemade or is it? Oh, wow. Well. Okay. So he makes everything fresh. Do we have any? Uh, we have how many other hamburger? Vendors, do we have one? One. 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 Okay. His specialty, though, also the is the fries. Right. Is yeah, that the size good. of the order? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Um, oh, it's bigger it than sit, that. So it went down. It's a lot of service. You make a beach uh, vegan? We do not. Okay. Okay. But well, you can get it vegetarian, right? Yeah, yeah if they want to hold order fries and cheese, or they can order. A lot of people do order without the protein. They'll just get the sauces and the. Um, Cheese now, do you offer that on your menu, or do they have to know to ask for it? Uh, they have to ask for it. Um, so our menu is pretty simplified. Um, so we just offered uh, five fries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five That's fries, and then just the single cheeseburger and a double cheeseburger. Would it be okay if we ask you to actually list that option just 
that's like a footnote at the bottom if you'd like to eliminate the protein on any of these. Oh, um, and I only ask because we we did have feedback a while back that there was no vegetarian options, right? It was a lot of meat. There was a lot of, you know, tacos and burgers and stuff. And we have had, as of late, more vendors coming in that actually offer a vegetarian option on their menu. I'm not asking you to do that, but but to just make that obvious so someone having to ask for it so that it's at least open yourself up to more. Right. More, um, more so our following is very familiar with who we are. So when okay. we come to the Village Fest, um, all the people that come to us. So they're going to know who you are. They're going to be looking yeah, for yeah. you. Okay. They'll yeah. know right. they can order. Pretty much they can customize it to however yep. they like. Uh, we like to keep, like I said, we like to keep it simple. Yeah. Um, and then we have like a secret menu. So whatever they want to do with that kind yeah. of stuff, they can. Um, okay. So specialty fries. Yes, sir. What are they? Uh, those are these. Those are the specialty fries. And they're fried in vegetable oil, not canola oil. Canola. Okay. So, so they could be vegan. Yeah. Okay. And then our salt is. But I mean, wouldn't wouldn't a uh, a veg a chicken barbecue chicken fries? Yes, sir. If I didn't want the barbecue chicken, wouldn't it be a different price? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I mean, we want to make a profit. Whenever we do do that, I mean, if they ask for a cheaper price. They could also get plain fries with the sauce on it as well. People do that as well. All right, um, we're we're over time. I don't yeah. mean to be rude to you about so it, still, but um, yeah. And by the way, David, usually when they take something out, you pay more. Like decaf coffee costs more than regular coffee. <laughs> <laughs> they took out the caffeine. Okay, so I'd like motion. to make a motion that we pass uh, Papa Heads into the Village Fest. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? Congratulations, Matthew. Thank you. And welcome to Village Fest. Yeah, the burgers are great. Yes, yes, really good. I look forward to eating your food. Can't wait for you guys to have it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, right? Yeah. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next vendor up is Derek Ciani from We Care Dental. It's a nonprofit to promote services. Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Derek Ciani with Vigor Dental. We were vendors from 2017 through 2019. Are we all getting a dental cleaning now as part yeah, of the yeah, demonstration? Exactly. Okay. Yes, I got my hand in it. So yeah, whatever you guys want to do. Um, so that's just a couple. We're basically just providing info. We're we're, um, we're a university. We have dental students in their third and fourth year of dentistry <laughs> working on patients with massive supervision. Um, we are really for people who don't have any dental insurance, about 30% of people don't have dental insurance. No, no, no. And we have about 30% of the population that are on the state Medi-Cal system. Um, and if things are not covered, our prices are still low. So we, our crowns are 575, um, and that's just for a cash price. Uh, we don't charge any more than that. Um, and then we also have a grant from the state that makes your first crown 275. Um, so we're very, very, um, wow. The prices fillings are ninety dollars um, for a filling. Um, extractions are ninety five dollars for a simple extraction. Um, so what you're saving in time, um, or what you're saving in money, you're getting in time. So it takes a little longer because the student does the procedure, but they're very conservative um, to prep the procedures, and then the faculty will come in and do the fine tuning, and then we take the pressure and the filling will kind of be, you know, the decay gets slowly removed, and then we yep. do that. So we're just here to let people know about it. So we're going to give those out that I showed you guys. We're yep. going to give them out during the um, during the uh, okay uh, during the yep. And then for kiddos, we just have little kid ones. So we have like a you know Cute, kid good. one for, for girls, nice touch. Little boy wants to no preference, and then three one for the boy or if the girl wants to no preference, whatever they want to. Um, and then we have a toothbrush, and then we just have these business cards that we're gonna okay. Out as well. So we're going to pass these yes. as well. Okay. I like them, but I have a question. Sure. Are you the doctor? I'm not. So I'm the um, I'm the administrative operations director. So I oversee um, all the administrators. So I oversee all the personnel and the staff, um, scheduling, all the billing and collections. And so, and then my faculty or my faculty, they oversee all the dental procedures. And they're doctors. Yeah. And so, question. Not, next question is root canal. What are your root canal? The root canal are for an anterior front tooth. It's three thirty. Um, for a premolar in between four forty and back tooth is five fifty. So and I'm we not going to tell you what I'm spending in my mouth right now. Yeah. 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 People all the time tell me that, you know, you have an implant insurance is right now here. And that's usually not know. We just had a guy from um, uh, from a We're private gonna... corporate office that came in with a deep cleaning, and the whole thing was $1,000. And he just came to us and we charged him 400 And so we're very doing that. So, like I said, we're not there. To, we're not there. To, we actually only have about 80% of our revenue is on our patient receipts. The other 20% is from our patient or student tuition. And that's what we're there for, is because we want the students to. 
to have experience and stuff where our prices are set. Our prices are kind of set to, to get to that 80% budget cost. Are you students paid? No, the students are all, they're paying tuition. So the they're students are paying tuition. So, so how, far, go ahead. how far along <laughs> are they in their treatment? They're in their third or fourth year of dentistry, depending on the rotation. So okay. they start in January and they go through December as far as the rotation goes. So in January, they're in their third year, but they're halfway into their third year. And now in June, they start their fourth year and their final year of dentistry. So is the doctor perform or the students perform? The students perform 95% of the industry. There are some advanced cases. We have patients who come in who want cosmetic crowns, you know, maybe eight on the upper, eight on the lower, four, four, and our faculty will take those cases on. The fees aren't the same as so we charge 849 per crown for those, but it's, it's not too common. But even 849 for a cosmetic crown is still very much affordable. It's usually 1500 to 2000 And who administers the needle? The students. They're really? Yep. Hygienists also do that. So we're trained more than hygienists. So if you have a hygienist doing a deep cleaning or even an RDA EF extended function, they can administer as well. So the students are beyond that. In so states, you're a nonprofit. Are you a 501c? Yeah, yeah. you're a 501c. So, yeah. I, think that's I read in your uh, online, your brochure or your, your date on the line that uh, for a period of time this year, you were not accepting any patients. That's correct. Starting Why May 15th, we'll begin accepting any patients again. Why is that? Uh, we had too many people wanted to come in and we were booking too far out. We just didn't have the we didn't have the mechanisms in place to be able to accept new patients as often as we did. So so one more question then. Um Village Fest is an artisan fair. Um why do you need to be at Village Fest if you are not accepting patients? Why would you want to come to Village Fest and promote the service that you're offering? When you, apparently you have more patients than you can handle. It just said it made 15. You'll begin May 15 accepting the patients again. Well, we just want we just want to get the word out. So we use it from 27 to 19 and got a new patient, a lot of new patients from the street fair. And so we want to go back to it because it was a great source. We track our new patient referrals. Um, we're adding additional students and we're adding what's what's also called an international dentists. So dentists who graduated in India or from Mexico, they can't practice in America because they don't have their um, their degree in America. So they go what's called an IDP course. Um, and so we are adding those students to our- In order to get licensed, right? In other yeah, words, to yep. become a licensed okay. in America. So, so since we're expanding, we're able to add more patients. And so we just want to get the word out again that we're adding more patients. And do your grants cut off at a certain time and then begin again as well? So yeah, the grants are definitely depending on each. Um, if we get the grant, Delta Dental Community Foundation gives us a grant annually. Um, when we get um, grants from the Medi-Cal system for seeing patients so often, and so we take that money and give it back to the patients. And so um, we usually have, have it up and we have enough in reserve to offer that first crown for $300 for anybody who needs a crown. We've been doing it since we reopened in 2020. So, and do you have restrictions on who you will accept? We do have certain restrictions as far as if you have too much dental anxiety and you're going to you know, <laughs> you know, need sedation. We don't do sedation. Our main thing is sedation. There are people who have that. Yeah. So, you know, so if they're just too, they can't Dental do it. Anxiety. Um, then we, we're just not able to, we're not able to accommodate them. Um, and then we, we also are regional, we're also vendors with the regional centers. So we see special needs patients as well because we feel that our students should not see special <laughs> needs patients as a, you know, obstacle. They should see them as a source of someone who should help them. So we're registered for regional center vendors. And so we see them as well. That's and some right. of them, they're the same way. We have to send them to our sedation office, but we'll see them anyways too. And where is your main campus? It's in Pomona. Okay. And then our current campus is in Rancho Mirage on the corner of 111 and Bob Hill. Oh, oh well. you're close. Good. Yeah, so yeah, we're close by. So that's why we're here for this. Okay. Right here. I, I think it's fabulous. I really do. Yep. Fabulous. Well, I, I, I take a different a take on it while I think they're offering a tremendous service. I'm not sure that it hasn't fit in Village Fest. He's a he's a um, what do you call it? Or I, I, yeah, he's yeah, just I, a nonprofit. I, I mean, I still think it. it yeah, you know, yeah. I just have a question about it. Okay. And I think most of my questions that I had were answered, which was um, I noticed that you were a prior vendor, but I think you've answered that, and it was for the same thing. Um, as far as being a nonprofit, it sounds like you're charging fees and you're getting grants and the like. Where do the rest of the funds go that you bring, uh, like the uh, revenue that you bring in? Yeah, it goes to the university. Okay, so it just supports the um, university. I, or, okay, I understand. Okay, great. I think with today's dental prices, there's a lot of people that cannot afford it. And, you know, just in my mouth alone is 20 grand. So I get it. I get it. But that's because so. you have such a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think the issue... I think one of the issues is 
you know, information versus product. Yeah. So are we are we getting more people that just want to dispense information, or are we, you know, I I know we we aren't anywhere maxed out on that, but this is kind of a kind of a what we're going to be talking about on Friday, just like what how do we want to represent Village Fest? Do we want it to be products have, or or do we want it to be information? Then do we have an obligation to allow any other dentist who wants to come and promote their? Well, services? I would say no, and I'll tell so. Let me kind of put this into perspective. Since we haven't had that discussion and actually made decisions as a board to, uh, you know, in each category, we have a percentage of max. We say we don't want to be more than X percent of this, X percent of that, um, to keep it a, a diverse affair. Um, we have not done that. So it would be, I think, inappropriate to um, inflict a new standard that we haven't really agreed upon. Um, so he's here now, uh, and he is a prior vendor. However, uh, I do I do agree with you that you know we have to keep that balance going. Of, it is you know of of the purpose. So that said, I would say that um, whether or not we bring in We Care Dental, I don't think that that obliges us to um, to approve another dentist come in, and especially if they're a commercial dentist and an not a nonprofit, but it, but even if there was another similar vendor, I don't think it obliges us to do that because we will be operating on the most updated set of guidelines of which we may create a guideline for limiting certain categories. So, so that so would you be amenable to tabling this discussion <clears throat> given that um, our fastest growing category is nonprofits? Um, yeah. and, um, my personal see. opinion is that we have already accepted his application and put him on the schedule and there's nothing wrong if there was something wrong with the product or the process that needed more work that they had to go back we wouldn't be asking him to change anything all that we're asking is that he wait for us to make a possibly different decision and i'm not sure that that's appropriate as a matter of fact i personally don't that's feel another like question it. yes sir is the name copyrighted we hear dental uh, that's sir dba our corporate name is western university of sciences okay so so you're just operating under that name yes this is a business called we care there's a lot of we cares. There's we care plumbing. Yeah. I think there's we, we care flowers. There's we care everything. Yeah. There's just a PBA, um, and then Western University of Health Sciences. Okay. So you are you affiliated with Western? So Western Dental? No, we get that a lot. We have no affiliation. With They're Western horrible. And that's not official. That's not an official yeah. Village Fest meeting. Yeah. Just want to make sure everyone understands that. They're on Ramon, actually, at the corner They're sunrise. Ramon, They're always. Right. They're yeah. on but, There's but several out here. All right. I think it's a great so carry uh, forward. opportunity Thanks. for people yeah. that can't afford dentistry. There's a lot of, pe of us that can put all that money in our mouths, but I think it's great that what you're doing. Make a motion. Let's make a motion. I make a motion that we accept uh, We Care Dental into our Village Fest as a nonprofit information center. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Let the record sit. But that means you're still with us because right. majority. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Well, thank you for your patience with all of our 99 questions. And we appreciate what you're doing. You're saving a lot of people a trip yeah. to Albagandes. Was it <laughs> Albagandes? Is that what you said? Yeah. Albagandes. Yeah. Albagandes. My girlfriend is going there. Saturday. Oh. Yeah, we got that <laughs> I think yeah. I'm going to change your mind. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, bring her over. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Thank you, All right. Thank Thanks for your patience, Derek. Um, next up, Dog Father Foods. Um, Dominic and Hayden Naidu. Yeah, probably uh, ice cold by now. So we <laughs> I think I That's why you brought the kid to distract us. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I know we got a little bit off agenda here. So you have three minutes to um, to present your product and what you want to do with sure, yours. We have some samples here for you good. folks. Just, just a visual. Please do not eat these cold hot dogs. They're at 90 <laughs> minutes. And <laughs> come to my stand. If we get approval, I guarantee I'll make you a fresh one that you'll go home. And can you just show it to us rather than passing that around? Um, I'd rather just pass it so you can okay. just open the lids on there. I don't think I can do it. I can help them out. Thank yeah, you. I got you. Any questions I can help answer? She's multitasking. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And this, is, this is our nacho dog. Uh, this is the friendships nacho cheese jalapenos on top. We serve 100% 
all beef Nathan's hot dogs. We did a taste test as a family. We all sat down, uh, tried a bunch of different hot dogs and decided unanimously uh, blind taste test that Nathan's was our favorite. I sure. grew up on Nathan's. Please. Yeah, and we've gotten the same reviews. Uh, we did our first little event at the um, Vintage Market. The oh, Vintage Market. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. very similar reviews from other people that they were very excited that they were Nathan's. Um, this one's just our, we call it classic. It's just a standard hot dog where you would put whatever you like on it. Uh, we serve it with peppers and onions, grilled peppers and onions, because we, again, find that people really, really liked that. Mm -hmm. um, so we end up topping most of our dogs. We offer them actually all with peppers and onions for free. Um, and then this is our chili cheese. We have grilled onions on there as well. Oh, and that's just, we're just starting out. So this is just our little menu for mm -hmm. right now, uh, keeping it simple with some of the favorites. And, okay, I have yeah. one comment or question, and I noticed it's Fender as well. We're seeing styrofoam containers we're supposed to be pushing for sustainability we've got to mention it to these folks yes. mm -hmm. and so i think we need to mention that to them during the orientation that we would like them to start to consider the transition over mm -hmm. to either sustainable or recyclable we actually have some recyclable um hot chocolates right. that we can use that are like a cardboard yeah. type um this just presents well and yeah. because it has the lids and everything and it's that's good for easy. takeaway yeah, yeah but um, overall, the city is really leaning toward moving into a sustainability mode big time. Mm -hmm. Like even at home, we peel a banana, we no longer throw it in the garbage. Right. We all have a little bin where we save all of our organic waste Absolutely. and the organic waste. And we're not only compost, it's all the organic waste. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, so I would, I'm not obliged to make that a requirement today, mm -hmm. but it will be become a requirement. So start to think in that way and move toward it. We'll hear those guys. Okay. okay. It's on Good. the agenda for new business tonight to discuss. Council. Yeah, it, it's uh, yeah, that's right. It is. <laughs> it's on the agenda for the council meeting. Okay. And um, the other thing is we recently approved. Yeah. And I haven't seen it a on the solely hot dog vendor. They're there. Mm -hmm. Um. Is this going to create any contention like we did have the um, correspondence tonight that was sort of a duplication addressing that? Uh, we yeah. probably have to place this vendor outside of the food court just because there's already two vendors who sell food um, in the food, who sell hot dogs in the food court, and the food court is pretty much out of yeah. max, so, especially with the two vendors that were approved earlier today. Yeah, if I could just say one thing, we actually had contacted uh, before starting any of our food vendor, you guys. For our first um, favorite little market, uh -huh. Village Fest, um, here in Palm Springs. Who doesn't love Village Fest, right? So that was our first inspiration to get started uh, with all of this. Uh, so when we had contacted, that's what we had been told, that we would probably just have to be put on the other end mm -hmm. because there was another hot dog vendor, but yeah. they said that it shouldn't be an issue um, and that the location would just be able to be shifted. To the Are you one. operating from a food truck or um, from a no, tent? starting off from a stand yeah. and eventually we will be more okay. to a food truck. And you cook all the, all of the hot you know, dogs I'm asking in that, your... Right? Yeah. In the tea, in the oh, yeah, we've been pushing for, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. 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 So that the other ones have a stand as well, aren't they? There's no are the other ones have a stand as well. Yes. Because if if we do go the route of a south food port, but it's all food trucks, so it could be autonomous without the water and the right, then but we still have them all up. Yeah, I know. We're not there yet. No, I know. I'm just trying to plan in my head. Okay. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get to taste the quality, but that's okay. Unless well, it looks good. It's, 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 it's a cold hot dog. So, I mean, I don't think it's a good one. Let me try it. Really? I don't know. We have cold barbecue. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, anybody have any further well, questions? Where did the name come from? Where did the name come from? You know, I'm a big fan of the Godfather series yeah. and we were uh, kicking names around and all of a sudden. Actually, named by the family. Uh, the <laughs> Godfather, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah. I make a motion that we accept Godfather Foods into Village Fest. Godfather. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Okay. This is Godfather. Godfather. I'll second that. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion on the floor and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Congratulations. Yeah. Welcome to Thank the Village Fest much. family. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Do you want to sleep these here with you? Yeah, no. You will. <laughs> okay. No? Okay. okay. Well, okay. Good. Fair enough. Will you have your uh, mascots with you at the? Yes. Oh, course. yes. Absolutely. Uh, the pups will be there. I was just talking for anyone if she was disturbing. Oh, no. <laughs>
So she's actually being a <laughs> And it's way too cute that you're coordinated with right. her. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yep. So cute. Very. Yeah. Okay. Next vendor up is Carrie Paul. Baubles and beauties, um, arts and crafts, laser engraving, water bottles, wood earrings, wood box. Doesn't look like you're here. Door hanger, porch sign. That's who, uh, absent. Be absent. Okay. Okay. Five <laughs> G. Okay. You did say five G. <laughs> carrying on about my phone and not getting. Yeah. Okay. All right. I really hope nobody watches these videos. <laughs> um, okay. Blame him. Next vendor, five H. Um, Brian Bradowski, BFF Artisans, Arts and Crafts. Oh, wow, we have a whole wagon. Ooh, two, two wagons. Two wagons. Wow. Fused glass Ooh, coasters, uh, plates, bottles, bowls. I'm a retired dentist. That was I like your shirt. Ah. <laughs> I'm Do you work for Western Dental? <laughs> no, I'm from Washington, D.C. Uh, <laughs> was sure. Didn't you think, though, that that was pretty admirable? That, Absolutely. That um, it's a nonprofit and helping. Yeah, I people. just recently learned about Western University. Uh, I never heard of it. I I have a friend who said they were going there, and I said, "What are you talking about? There's no other dental school I've heard of that." And obviously, I learned something not that long ago about that. Mm. But uh, that's another part of my life. Okay, so uh, you have three minutes to present, and then we'll ask questions. Well, I think so some things sure. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to count this time until you get set up. Oh, I got I got a few things here to put out. Keep your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on your lap. I'm telling you. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Do you um are you shown at the Palm Springs Art Museum store? No. I, okay. not, I know the person who does that. Because I was going to say healing gallery. Which is in Palm Desert. Okay. They have a pop up uh, at Christmas time, and I sell in their Christmas pop up. Uh, but they also do they're doing a permanent uh, a permanent uh, gift uh, shop. Shortly. Meantime, I'll hand out my cards and information. Did you start doing this as sort of like a stress relief while this you were working? This was a hobby gone wild. Okay. <laughs> and I can tell you, my husband was not happy at all the money I spent on the film and a studio and all the all the stuff on this. But that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'll never make as much money as I spent. <laughs> This is a hobby. And these are some of the examples. Um, I'll take a few more and then we'll get started talking. These are just a few representations of things I've done, but do. Very colorful, gorgeous. Beautiful. I love So my glass. price point is nice. My price point goes from about $40 uh, to three or $400 mm -hmm. for larger pieces. And um, um, and I enjoy mid century modern. And you said you're a lot of mid century modern good. things. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to have everything that you yeah. brought out. Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to do more. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. we're not doing and I also, like, maybe he's posting and showing his, his beautiful work. So, for instance, this, uh, these are um, all handmade. Let me first back up. Um, uh, this is the art of fused glass. And the reason why I made this. Nice poster work. The first thing people think about is uh, blowing glass. Television, that's, that's what comes to people's minds. But actually, this is fused glass, so it's the art of joining compatible glass in a kiln and making uh, art, making dishes, bowls, and also three dimensional castings. So um, I was asked about the raw materials for something like this. And there's only a few raw materials. All these items here come from ground glass, large pieces of sheet glass, and rod glass, as we call it, or ribbon glass, or other types of small glass. So nothing, people always ask me, oh, do you, are these pieces, do you just assemble them? I said, no, I actually cut them from large pieces of glass 
uh, also pieces of um, print, as we call it, ground glass, and also we call ribbon glass and spaghetti glass. So that being said, um, I enjoy uh, doing the mid-century modern things. Uh, this actually, I made a 20 inch one of these for somebody. That's really pretty. And the first one didn't come out. I didn't like it very well. I cursed it, and then one day I dropped it. <laughs> so what did I do? One, one wonderful thing about glass, it's recyclable. I never throw a piece of glass away. It could be used as a component in something else. We can do what we call pot melts, which is basically putting all this glass into a pot and melting it and making a fabulous looking unique coloration uh -huh. or design. So this was from a very large piece that for some reason I didn't like. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I just cut it down and made these smaller pieces. And this is what's in my living room right now. Um, is so, that meant to be like a bread basket or is or it's just a decorative it, piece? Well, let me, let me tell you that this it's glass is 100% lead free, yeah. except for a couple of colors. And I don't use those. Certain right. colors do have like, a certain percentage yep. of lead and cadmium. Uh, I don't use those. So this glass is all custom glass that comes from uh, Portland, Oregon at the Bullseye Factory. And uh, then they have uh, resource centers around the country. One of them is Pasadena. So I'm in Pasadena several times a year where I spend upwards of thousand to $3,000 on raw materials. Um, I uh, enjoy the mid-century moms. So something like this is $80. It's beautiful. A nice it's little cute. gift. I've sold a lot of these at the Galen Gallery and a few other places. Tourists especially love this little yeah. thing. And then for fifty dollars, you can get um, coasters, and up to, upwards of something like this is a little more uh, extravagant or bigger. I have a larger one at home. It's beautiful. Well, that's that's really two hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. So I've done many different art fairs, including the Palm Springs Pride and others. I've only been selling for about a year and a half. It was a hobby that again got out of hand. All my <laughs> friends and family might be tired of getting my glass, so that's just something. <laughs> So that's basically what it your birthday um, <laughs> Also, I've done um, nice little um, handmade oh, that's cute. Uh, sun catchers mm -hmm. and wing catchers. And again, all this is made, cool. all these little pieces are made from that ground glass. Uh, the difference between very quickly, something coming up very smooth and lovely like this, that's and wonderful. something that is very three-dimensional mm -hmm. like this, is simply the temperature and time. Mm -hmm. So this gets full full blasted at almost fifteen hundred degrees in a kiln, and something like this might get blasted at fourteen hundred and twenty. And that's food safe, right? This is all food safe. Yes. Most people don't use it for food, but you can, especially some of the bigger pieces. People will put uh, appetizers and such on it. It can be washed with hand soap and water. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher. Right. And that's basically uh, my project. I also do jewelry. I'll show you very quickly. Uh, is that on here, jewelry? Just all glass jewelry. Yeah, it's on jewelry. Okay, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh wow! Now you really get their attention. Just so you know. Well, the, I'll tell you what this is. <laughs> I, I I charge about twenty or twenty five dollars for these pieces. I think it's very fair. Yeah, an affordable thing, especially you do a lot of great things with the LGBT. Right. With uh, yeah, with the rainbow. I've had lots of rain. This was all filled with rainbow, mm -hmm. trans, and other types of stuff. And you can see it's all almost gone because I've sold this out for the year. Um, it takes a while to make these. Yep. Um, every object goes in the kiln for 48 hours. Some go in for longer if you do Beautiful. other types of techniques. It might only take a few minutes to make a little thing like this, but it still takes 48 hours to process. Mm -hmm. um, a large dish like this might take me. 12 or 14 hours to hand cut all those pieces. And then once again, another 48 hours in the kiln to both use it and shape it. Brian, my question so, is um, Village Fest is well attended, as you know. Mm -hmm. Do you have ample inventory to? Uh, I will. I do. I have um, two kilns at home. And I, I call this my production work. When I do things like this, this doesn't take very long to make. I have a very large kiln that I process that I bought recently. So I can definitely um, fill that requirement. Um, it is handmade. So I'm sure there's some point when I might run out of something. You just can't yeah. want you go home. And Your work is beautiful. It. I sense it will be popular. Yes. And I, I would hate for you to, to run out of product. I've thought about that long and hard because actually somebody said to me, so what's going to happen, Brian, when you are... <laughs> 
there and you're going to do so fantastically one week and such. That's why I don't want to start until October to get my resources okay. up. Uh, okay. It takes a while to make these things. I have a list of what I've sold that became very popular. Certain things like these don't don't go very quickly, or a large piece that I might charge four or five hundred dollars for something that is yeah. like that, an extraordinary size. Um, I've had people buy that. I've had people commission me that. But those are the things that do take a lot of chair time, and I can only put one of those big pieces in my kiln where I can put. You know, six or eight of these in it. Right. The and such. I also do the same thing with votive candle holders. So basically, take this and make it into mm. a candle holder. And I always, these are the pretty basic ones, but a lot of fun, funky, mid century modern pretty, type pretty. of uh, time candle holders. What is the box? He's going to move. Oh, this is, I sold these at the Food and Wine Festival that was in Palm Desert a couple of weeks oh, ago. Salt. Oh, it's a salt cellar. It's salt a salt cellar. So awesome. I bought these for ten dollars. I can get a little cheaper, and then I made these lids. These glasses. Beautiful. That's a great nice. gift. Yeah. I sold, those will fly. Yeah, I sold like fourteen of them. Yeah, salt I had sixteen. Yeah. I know, like more salt. I, 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 I have one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you're and, uh, you know, one of the artists, Sakara, she's one of the food uh, network yeah. stars, yeah. Indian no, woman. Uh, I became friends with her online, and I got to meet her there, and I gave her one, and she actually showed it on TV. So that was very, very nice. That's a great gift. Celebrity type what is that sell for? This sells for forty dollars. Okay, okay. Very, nice. very nice. I so, think it's a good. Price. Yeah. Do you do other jewel? Sorry, do you do other jewelry beside beside uh, necklaces? No. Okay. okay. All right. I just wanted to know. And you teach on the list. classes as well. I teach classes at my studio, which is a, a, a part of my home, a separate part of my home, and I'm really very successful. And I hope to get a job actually teaching at the DAC uh, Desert Art Center. They're in need, they're in need of a. Um, Glass a glass artist. artist. I might be interested. In so are you moving your yeah, husband too. out so you can take his room? I have a huge cleaner though. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to offer it to him. So my question is, do you take a plate that's already like that and then layer on top of it? No. No. Or you make a complete plate? Everything is very. For instance, I started with a clear piece of glass for this clear piece of glass, flat, out of a big giant sheet I cut, in this case, 12 by 10 by 10. And then I laid on the different cut pieces that I put on top of it. So nothing comes pre-assembled. Everything comes from a sheet of many different colors like this, transparencies. And then you and bend everything. it and do all that. So huh? once something goes in the kiln, it comes out flat. Yeah. And then it goes in the uh, in the kiln mm -hmm. the second time into a ceramic mold, mm -hmm. just like you would use for ceramics. Oh, okay. And then you'll get your different types of shape. In this particular case, this is a drape, so it goes upside down, and you get this fantastic looking uh, folding. Very nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, without further ado. I'm ready to make a motion. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. I would like to move the BFF artisans be added to Village Fest. I'll do a second that. Okay, all in favor? Thank you. Okay. Any opposed? No? Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome Thank to you. the Village Fest family. People may be interested in taking your class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be yeah, interested in working with people. Come in the morning, it's our bagels and croissants, oh. coffee, and uh, come in the evening with a little wine. Oh, your new best oh. friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all over the evening. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I'll move my stuff to pack it up while the next person okay. comes so I don't uh, okay. interrupt it. That's okay. That's okay. Very nice. Thank you very much. We're getting some really. Interesting. Beautiful, beautiful Different. stuff, Ryan. Like See, this, this is the this is the problem. This is what he says. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, is she gone? Yeah. And it even doesn't have a she left one of her candles. Yeah, she somewhere. left two of them. She left you the Mary Janes. She left you the Mary Janes, probably. <laughs> no, I didn't think so either, but oh, she okay. We'll make sure they get back to her. I want to pee. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. No, we will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. There's your new best friend. Yes, I get it. I've done, oh. I've done glass fusing before in San Jose. They had some, but they're like day long courses. So your courses are like over a, a period of time. Um, I'll, do, I'll do a basic class for $50. 
uh, or about two a and a half hours. Okay. And you'll make something, either you make a dish like this, uh -huh. this size, you make a votive candle holder, you make a, uh, you can make uh, something like this. Okay. So, so it's this learning to manipulate okay. the glass. For those people who really don't want to cut glass, that was just going on. Uh, I have so many scraps, they can put something real cool together with scrap glass. And I'm Do you have a cotton. cord, Brian? He, he, Pardon me? He cord? gave it. He gave, he us, gave us. it. Oh, yeah. I put it want? back in the folder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I might need it. Can you have a cord, Brian? I love uh, your shirt. You, you don't take it very much. Nice. Great vibe, right? <laughs> I've got a big box full of glass because I've done some glass cutting and glass fusing, but it sounds like you only take this kind of glass. Well, glass comes in um, several. Um, I used to get it up in Berkeley. The difference between one glass and another, you can use several different kinds. You have to use compatible glass. Uh, if you don't use compatible glass, uh, one might uh, expand or contract just a few yeah. seconds more than another. And you crack. And you crack. Right. Yep. And that's why you bought, you can't use any glass. Oh, I have all these beautiful glass. Can you use it? I know it's glass. I have no idea what the, we call it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was going to give it to you. It's like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, thank you. you. I used to do Tiffany glass. Like, to, to like, you know, yeah, put I've things done, together. Yeah, stuff like that. Let it. And, yeah. and that orange is something that I've used that. Well, but that's what you can do with yours because it doesn't fuse, doesn't matter. It, no, mind. I used to cut it and then yeah. make like I made a big patio table. I said it's going to start in October and so grout it. I'd like to start in wow. October. Give me uh, quite a few months to uh, sell out of those this weekend. From your mouth to God's ears. Cut it, copper to it. White I do sell a lot of cut. I do sell a lot of LGBT. And then fried stuff. Tables, trays. Well, you have the white card this week. Yeah, I know. Well, no, for selling. Not you. I don't know if they're interested in class that weekend. Okay, now to, now to be fair to the rest of our vendors sitting here watching us all yeah, here, I'm sorry about that. that's okay. Um, next up will be Lee Marshall from Funny Colonel, farmer's market vendor, prepackaged kettle corn and popcorn. Who doesn't like kettle corn? Really? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Lee. Oh, and this is his funny dessert. We uh, so sell prepackaged okay. churro kettle corn. It's all vegan. And we oh, are, vegan. This is our farmer's market kettle corn, which is also vegan. And uh, and I know you guys have a kettle corn vendor already, but I, I know that there's, we used to have two. There's one on one end, and, there, and then there's one that's missing on the other end. But we want it to be the vegan option, if that's possible. So we have uh, a, vegan, a vegan salted popcorn also. Oh, nice. Um, here's a churro kettle corn. And what do they sell for? And we sell the, the kettle corn for nine, and the 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 caramel corn is for eleven. And um, did you say churro? Yeah. If you want to try it, I'm just curious to know what you mean by that. Churro is like you know that. The, that oh, like the, yeah. like yeah. like the donut. And the and the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So would he be in the farmer's market or? Oh, I'm going to place him on the street. Okay. Are you going to be popping it? Yeah. Yeah. He, he that's that's a good question. We make it in an FDA approved facility. Oh, so you're just going to sell the back. Yeah. And so oh, that's good. Them. Exactly. It's a local. Oh, yum. Yeah. Um, the facilities in Pomona. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. That's really good. I appreciate so, it. What things are vegan? What What about popcorn isn't vegan? Uh, Butter. The, the, the sugar that we use is azure sugar, and it's it's made with dried cane juice. And so, not all uh, cane sugars are vegan uh, because most cane sugars are processed with bones, oh, which, right. which, which leave which leaves a bone char in the sugar. Uh, uh, right. yeah, and so yeah, so, so we use all never say that you're going to change. We'll, we'll never have sugar. Very nice. Thing. Thank you. Can we make a motion? Yes. I make a motion that we accept Funky Colonel. Funny. funny. Oh, funny. funny. Sorry. <laughs> he may be funky, too. <laughs> I think she just made a motion to rename your yeah. motion. <laughs> Would you like to put on a motion that actually has to do with approving the vendor? <laughs> funny Colonel. Okay, and I'll second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Any Everybody loves you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, 
I nominated him. Yeah, no, okay. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll Congratulations. Leave. Welcome to the Village Press family. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, we were always very persistent in trying to get in here. So I'm thankful for that. Well, here's my application, by the way. We got it. Good to have it on file. Okay. Cool. Oh, you're Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. We all love you. We all love oh, oh, Thank you okay. very much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank bye, -bye. Thank you. Okay. Next. He said he's leaving it for oh, us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Next. Okay. Next up, we have Jim Schaefer from Canyon Creek Mushrooms. Farmer's Market. Hi. Ooh, my. Mushroom jerky, lion's mane powder. I'm dying to know what that is. Mushroom powder, fresh mushrooms, dried mushrooms, mushroom blocks, mushroom bacon bits. Any fun wow. mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> what is lion's mane? Lion's mane is this mushroom here. Oh, okay. It's a um, very tasty mushroom. It's a best seller for the culinary. But it also has some medicinal properties that are quite popular. A lot of people take the lion's mane as a daily supplement. Mm -hmm. And so we powder the mushrooms, um, some of the mushrooms ourselves, and make them available as a daily supplement. So when you say healing process, what, what kind of healing? Lion's mane has uh, some documented health benefits mm -hmm. that are uh, has a cognitive uh, impact. It has some anti-inflammatory capabilities, anti-depression capabilities. Uh, can you pass that jar around of those lines? Me, no one's mixing on it. Are you are not making? Are you making those health claims? I am not. I am repeating what is uh, okay. posted. Okay. But it's not on your product. It, oh, it is not. Okay, okay, great. Okay, great. And we tell our customers, do your own research. Right. Do your own research. Yeah. If they ask me, I do take it every day, and I can give my own testimony. Yeah. This water is a pure uh, flavor enhancer it's made from our chestnut mushroom, which is this mushroom actually. Wonderful way to add a an umami flavor. To I was going to say. Give you the umami, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's unique because wow. it's made from a different mushroom than you might find at the grocery store. Yeah. And then we offer just uh, dried versions of our fresh mushrooms. This has to be our king trumpet, this is our black king. Wow. Wow. Wonderful products. These sell quite well at the farmers market. What's the price of that size? This is a uh, twelve or two for twenty. Okay. And you grow your own mushrooms? Yeah, we're right here in Palm Desert. Uh, oh. I don't know if you happened to catch last uh, April's edition of Palm Springs Life. I had a really nice four-page article in there. Oh, great. We've been at the farmer's markets here for three years. We started in Yucca Valley. We came down to Palm Desert in 21. Uh, we have a little storefront. We do tours every day. People come through. Very nice. Okay, so it says on here, for best results, take two teaspoons daily first two weeks, then one teaspoon daily to maintain benefits, which doesn't say anything about health benefits, right, to maintain benefits, which, so, is, which um, is smart of you to do that on the label, because otherwise we, we wouldn't be able to. Well, I actually looked it up, and it yes. says memory, focus, immune uh, functions, energy, and even reduces anxiety and inflammation. Oh, the port of my mouth made all of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Let's nice. Smell it. I like the chestnut Porn powder. Yeah, we're actually all the markets. I use oh, a truffle yeah. powder sometimes That's when I good. cook, but I which I get at Trader Joe's, which has cocoa in it. Yeah. Have yeah, you tried it? It's not really all truffle, oh, it's mushroom and chocolate. No, but we get that question a lot. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't sell it at the village. That's the same. I keep telling them when the laws change so <laughs> you ever this, this is this is a great product. Thank you. That's soon soon. You nice make micro I mean <laughs> so this is used a lot in soups. You add that to a soup. This right here, yeah. Well, oh, this is not. I think it's a thickener too. That is so. Then you have a hot house, greenhouse. I mean, I've been indoors. Um, growing mushrooms in the desert seems like a risk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a very dank garage. Yeah. You have a dank garage, huh? you have a greenhouse. It's all done indoors in climate control chambers built in our facility, yeah. Again, it's I very easy to, to grow mushrooms, yeah. Really yeah. Quite interesting, yeah. That we and you have regular store hours, then. regular store hours, Monday to Saturday, uh, 10 to 4. How about morels? You ever grown morels? Nobody's been able to domesticate those little buggers. I know. The best they can do to domesticate a morel is they find a patch in the wall and put a fence around. Right, and hide it. Yeah. What is the price of the chestnut mushroom powder? Okay. And what's the jerky made out of? So the jerky is made from our very own mushrooms. We do this all with our uh, we have like cottage kitchen license, so we do it all our own packaging. Um, again, it's, it's a, so it's a it's a mushroom based jerky, so it's vegan, it's gluten free, it's quite a little healthy snack. Very popular. Is it? Is there no meat in it? No meat at all. Can is there anything else in it besides mushroom? 
No, it's 100 mushroom, and then the ingredients to flavor cook it down. So, so how do you dry them? Is it is it in salt or just a dehydrator? Dehydrator. Okay. De dehydration. Mushrooms are fun. I mean, fun. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I hope nobody watches. Right. Don't no watch. books or so, uh, you know we're not supposed to have fun. percent of our sales is to the yeah. we, we're quite a few of the restaurants. So the other forty percent is either out of the or farm directly or the farmers markets. So we're at the farmers markets where um, you know we're the big bear. Oh, it's like jerk. And you just reconstitute those and cook with oh, it's like yeah. jerk. I mean, yeah. try some. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I don't know. There are a lot of plant based jerkies out there. Yeah. We it's strive a, hard to get our stuff. Some bunch of tomato like, like the, uh, mm -hmm. but it is one of Because it's good. It's really good. I have jerky like real jerky like this. Yeah. So you know, we're, we work hard to get it there. This is uh, this product is what prompted us to maybe think we could do well in village fest as well as the farmers market. It's vegetarian. Yeah. Is, that, is that vegan as well? Vegan. Well, we're going to do greens. really good with this. Yeah. Wow. Let me strong. try. I want to try. You should be you should feature that on your either on your signage or on whatever paper you have on there that that they're all vegan because a lot of vegetarians and vegans complain we don't have enough things for them at Village Fest. So. Oh, it's good. There's your vegan baby. It's really good. It's a good vegan. All of it's vegan. It's really good. I'm not vegan. Please give me a burger any day. Well, I know you down that booger like in two seconds. I, I, because <laughs> we're having lunch today. Like just saying. <laughs> She's just saying. All right. Let's, let's so one, one last thing I want to show you. Another product we're offering is um, and part of our education to spread the word. We're doing these uh, ready to fruit blocks, we call them. So if anybody wants to grow mushrooms at home, these are the blocks in which we grow them. Oh, no wow. way. So we do it wow. as a kit with the instructions. They get all the materials. Oh my god! And by following the instructions, in about fifteen days, they can have a couple pounds of fresh mushrooms. Wow! Grow. Is that cow? Is that days. cow dung? <laughs> it is not. That's what I thought. The you mushrooms we grow. No idea. They grew that fast. The mushrooms Fair we fungus. grow are uh, tree based, mm -hmm. for lack of a better description. So, so our raw ingredients are actually the waste product from the lumber industry, and mm -hmm. then we use the nitrogen, which is a soy hull. So it's a waste product for the soy industry. What does the temperature or environment have to be in your home in order to grow that, though? So, um, put in a closet, basically. Is that what they? Not really. No, closet? actually, you just put it on the counter or out anywhere out of the direct sunlight, but mm -hmm. not in in darkness. And as long as your house temperature is seventy degrees, seventy five degrees, somewhere in there, you're okay. The tricky part is the humidification. You got to keep these guys moist. Moist. And it can be hard in the desert, but. We provide this cheesecloth, so between the two, it's yeah. sufficient to grow them here. Well, that's really interesting. That's a great so idea. So, is the white part mold, or is that? Is that's that... the mycelium. That's the living organism okay. that produces that's what the I mushroom. Thought. Okay. Without the mycelium in here, this block is actually a dark brown. So that's ready to pop. That's ready to pop. Yeah. Got pop it. How much you sell that for? This kit sells for thirty-five. Oh my gosh! I that's think really that's cool. going to be your awesome. best seller. We oh my so god. Too. For people who want yeah. to experiment and learn this. Especially family to teach kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The science project, right? The high schools will love you. You know what? You should make littler blocks and put one out. Well, you should say that. Well, come <laughs> to But we're doing a tasting of mushrooms. It's a six, it's a four pack, four pack of one. Yeah. And you're going to put it in a little, and you're going to show people how a mushroom actually goes. People don't really know. They could be think great they if you like had, had one that's cow producing dung. mushrooms in your display. So the hard part about that is it, it would be a loss every week ah. because by the time they get home, it's going to be. Yeah. Still fun. So well, we do have a lot of video. Fine. So these kits, that's for a specific type of mushroom. Right. I, in this case, I think and you'll have lion. more than one, more than one type. Yeah, we have eleven strands of mushrooms that we sell. Can I see the uh, lion's mane mushroom itself? I would, I would like to see what, uh, what that looks like. Yeah. Only because I'm a cook, so that's why I was pulling it. So that's why this stuff is so fascinating. That is so cute. That so we don't need really think the fresh world. mushrooms we would sell it, but there will be people who be what? interested. It's a big lob. Yeah, it's a big blob. It looks like, it looks a, like a blob of, of dough. dough. Like that is our best seller. Blob of dough. dough. Can I touch it? Okay. How, how does this cook? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh. It looks like a triple. It almost looks like a furry <laughs> cauliflower. It does look like a cauliflower. Like this is amazing. Oh, oh it smells like a mushroom. You're in the industrial area. 
Correct. Okay, I know what so you're doing. Fresh yeah. pasta with this would be amazing. But, but you, but you, that's so that's exciting. This is no, so you cut educational. It up and you I mean, it. it's like, do you do oysters? Lots of yeah, garlic. Yes, seven mm -hmm. oysters. We should move on. Have you been to yeah, All right, right. so we were being rude to the no, people that are they're waiting here. Yeah. That's very exciting. That's this is fascinating, and we can keep you up here for like an hour talking about this, but that would be unfair to the other people. Mm -hmm. uh, and thank you for your patience for waiting. I'm going to make a motion um, that we accept Canyon people. Creek mushrooms into the village fest. I'll second it. Oh, God. Uh, all in favor? Uh, uh, aye. Any opposed? No. Yay. Thank One you. of the most Appreciate interesting. It. Yeah, farmers market. That's great. Product yes, it's amazing. Very exciting. So we're looking for love. Yeah, we're excited. Can we call you the shroom man? <laughs> I have a shirt that says mushroom man. And often it says mushroom whisperer. And you grow <laughs> any belladonna? <laughs> <laughs> someday, uh, someday. It at least goes downhill. I know. It's it's oh, we get because I'm on the road. Road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate too much pride. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Thank Thank you. Thanks Congrats. a lot. Looking Lucy. forward to seeing you at at Fest, for sure. At least it's boring. All right. Um, so yeah. Faith will be in touch with you and get you set up for orientation and start day and positioning and all that. Email me. Email me. This will go in the farmers market area, right? No. No. Oh, because, because there's no room. There's no room. Okay. So we'll. You'll have we're gonna have food. We're gonna have food, <laughs> food next to the earring. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. yeah you'll okay. Be fine. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Los, Los Angeles, uh, Ian Santos. Ian is arts and crafts vendor, bringing us botanical room sprays and assorted plants. Thank you all for waiting, by the way. I know this yeah, is going on. Yeah, thank you for your patience. Here. Apologies. Oh, my God. Look at this. So Ian, after you set up, you'll have three minutes to present. Yeah. As you see, we're not really good at staying to the time today. <laughs> Apologies for that. No worries. I prepared a keynote, but I feel like I still need to talk to you guys. <laughs> um, so did you guys know that some plants actually have special meanings? Um, my name is Ian. I'm the owner of Los Angeles. We're a plant shop that sells house plants that are said to manifest uh, things like victory, success, wealth, love, um, among many other things. I'll take one of each. Yeah. <laughs> one of the, You've already used that line tonight. Hey, Jasmine. Well, what what is is what I'm not great and I'm done. What is so that? that process, um, for example, uh, is a symbol in China that represents uh, getting rid of negative energy as well as wealth. And then in Western cultures, they're a sign of perseverance due to their. Uh, and the lucky plant? Uh, the lucky plant, um, good luck uh, and, and well. And so, with, do you do you cultivate all these plants yourself? Yeah, so they're either grown, um, they're grown in house and then sourced from local reputable growers. Uh, for example, this philodendron here started as this size plant that I grew to a. Uh, do you have percent. a greenhouse or something? Uh, it's an office, so it's half a greenhouse, half a packing house because we're online sales, and uh, half a regular office. Okay. <laughs> and your succulents? Uh, succulents? Uh, yeah, we grow them as well. No, what does that represent? Is that an air plant? No, this is a Haworthia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, succulents are representative of um, love, forgiveness, and friendship. Hmm. So Tell us about your room sprays. You have room sprays as well. Uh, so our room sprays are their secondary product, and I actually have one open that we'd like to pass that around. Um, their tones bottles, they're meant to target any specific odors, or you can keep it around the house um, or in the bathroom. There's scents of lavender, jasmine, um, and some secondary layers. I actually keep a, um, a bottle in my car. Every time I have so is it one formulation? Yes. Okay. And only one scent. It's my Chanel number five. <laughs> Not this <Nice. one>. <laughs> Oh, so it's all one. Okay. This would be a good seller for people staying in hotels who want to freshen their room. Oh yeah. I've seen so, many hotels where I've gone out and bought things. You're aware of how hot it gets here. So are you planning to wait until October, or are you wanting to start right away? Uh, I'm going to start right away. I know it does get hot, but I mean it is an evening. Fairness, as long as they're not in the or, direct or sunlight, I should be yeah. Okay, on like the mountain side. Yeah. So, this 
Is this something that you formulate yourself? Do you mm -hmm. actually mix this? Yeah, the recipe is all. Is it in what is what is the base of it? Um, it's primarily distilled water and then essential oils and some witch hazel. Okay, mm -hmm. and you actually manufacture it or you have it done? No, I make it. Do you pour it from one bottle to the next bottle? Nope, they are just, I sort out a bunch of empty bottles. I am dropping essential oh, oils into each. Okay. So each one's a little bit unique, right? No, they're all on the exact same recipe. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the essential base? Um, still water, but... lavender. Oh, that's kind of oh, nice. Absolutely. Yes, some little red from Mickey Haggerty's plant. Knock it on that. That's nice. <clears throat> it's nice. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Get a smile. <laughs> Any questions for Ian? No, I like that room spray. No, I do too. No. These are yes. <laughs> are you selling it uh, any other of the uh, local markets here? No. And your office is in Los Angeles. No, it's here. It's the the oh, name is founded in Los yeah, yeah. Angeles. Oh, okay. I was living okay, good. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and actually, that's how the business came apart. Uh, came apart is because uh, when my husband and I vacationed here a couple years back. Um, I wanted to go to a local plant shop to find a couple souvenirs to yeah. get back, you know, palm trees or a, a succulent, very palm springs. And uh, according to Yelp, I didn't really have many options. Um, apart from like the greater nurseries, like in Palm Desert or um, the florists. More in his botanical garden. Molars. Or, yeah, but still the best. outside the city of Palm Springs. Yeah. Um, and even then, Molars is more of a nursery. I wanted something like a plant boutique. And there was none. And so when I moved here a year later, I decided I'll be that. Okay, and you, you might go. you <laughs> might do well enough to open a, a store. That would be really nice to have That's a the goal. plant boutique in Palm Springs. Up Canyon just yeah. waiting for an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> have you been to Morton's Botanical Garden? I have, yeah. Okay. All right. So Question about your um your inventory. Take these away. The photographs don't show a lot. And oh. God, I'm wondering if you have any more space you have. I'm going away in here yeah. because I have, I have to fit in my own. I mean, it's a standard room size. It's, a, it's our second bedroom, and I house about 100 inventory plants each time. Well, wow. And it's just me taking care of them. So yeah. wow. <laughs> they're a great size, too. They're yeah, not they're like overwhelming. Yeah. Well, it's, they are it's carryable for people walking village fast to buy them. Because you can fly domestic with these. Yeah. Just great. Right. But you have to carry them, camp. Yep. All right. Okay. Without further ado. Yeah, I'm going to make a motion that we accept um, Los Angeles into the Village Fest. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Congratulations. Okay. Welcome Thank to. You. I'm going to come down and get to be your rooms. Welcome to Village Fest. Yeah, I like that room. I do too. We'll uh, see you on the street. Okay. <laughs> You'll be in touch with the office with uh, Faith for your orientation and start date and all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your interest in Village Bus. Next up is yeah. Oh, you didn't, you didn't. oh, oh no. Oh okay. no. Where is he? Right. Oh well. Will it survive? Just we. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Just put him in the Somebody cooked okay. them. Yeah. Chestnut mushrooms. Forgot his shrimp. Anybody cook? I use them if you're gonna cook. Thank you. Thank you. We wanted to hide the shrooms. We thought they were the real. Okay, they were good. Our truth. Okay. Shane, room like a Shane Townley, Laguna Art Group. This is a slap happy group today. I know. <laughs> I know we're a little out of it. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's great. Summer's hit, and that's what yeah. it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your patience, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to the last. So uh, while you're setting up, I'm going to ask a question and then you can get to your presentation and, and we'll start your time at that point. Um, when I first saw your application, I was a little confused by it being a nonprofit yeah, since so you're selling just... fine art, well, art. And yeah, so why don't you explain that to us? Yeah, absolutely. So, so time again. Shane Townley, contemporary artist, is Suzanne Zagari, contemporary artist. We both Hi. work for a nonprofit I founded in 2014. Um, that at that time it was only ten percent of the business, and we I built an art center in New York in 2015, 
It took four years uh, to put together this art center, one year to build it in 2019, and then uh, one month for it to be destroyed in uh, 2020. Oh, yeah. And that was March. Yeah. So we decided to make it 100% nonprofit to help kids in the hospitals and schools. So I know it's like emotional. Right? That's okay. I'm sorry. That's, sorry. Uh, We're sorry. Where was the place in New York? Tribeca on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Broadway. Mm -hmm. We even had a you know, cafe. Wow. Okay. So we lost. So I've always painted my whole life. So is Suzanne. Uh, uh, like that. And, uh, anyways, here's my work. And this is Suzanne's work. So it also says uh, we wanted to show many artists, but mm -hmm. that's not the case uh, because only Suzanne decided to donate 100% to the nonprofit. I, I always donate 100% to the nonprofit. So, so how do you make a living? Uh, paycheck. Oh, you work? Yeah, for oh. the nonprofit. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. Me and my wife work for the, for the nonprofit. Okay. okay. So you'll see a picture in the folder, and that's the art center with a uh, classroom for kids. We donate all the art supplies for kids. Fabulous. We donate the classroom. Um, to teachers, art teachers. Fabulous. And this is Suzanne's sculptures. Oh, wow. Um, That's we beautiful. also just bought a piece of land in the Joshua Tree. It's 2.5 acres, and we're going to have giant sculptures of hers. Ah, That's right. wow. Uh, I, I have a feeling that causes the which vibe I'm yeah. getting in. It is Joshua Tree's really. Yeah. So up in Joshua Tree, the thing you're going to do is just going to be an exhibit, or or is that going to be like a We're like an arboretum sell, selling outdoor stuff? We're going for the museum status. Oh, okay. Okay. So when I graduated high school, yeah. my father said, "If you're going to be an artist, you have to understand commercial art, graphic design, advertising, and business," which was the smartest thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't think at the time it was smart, but. Yeah, and is that bronze? Uh, that one is uh, I made it with the clay, but the way I glazed it, it looks. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's clay, and, yeah. uh, and then when it goes to the high it becomes like bronze. It looks like bronze. Yeah, it Amazing. Looks like bronze. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Thank you. So, all of the art that you sell, 100% of that profit goes back to the nonprofit. Yes. 100% of first, that. This is the first uh, outdoor, outside of our art center that we're going to be doing since COVID. Okay. I'm not sure if I can ask this, so if I can't, stop me. Okay. Um, is your compensation dependent on how much sells? Does it change on how much sells? <laughs> because that would make you a commission. That's why I'm asking. Compensation for. Sorry. And the nonprofit. Uh, working for the nonprofit. Oh, no, it's the same paycheck every month. Standard season. salary you're on. Right. Okay. Right. So would he go under a nonprofit or tell me how he would go yes, under? Yes, he's a 501. Yeah, so it's a, it's a yeah. bit of a conundrum circumstance yeah. yes. for Village Fest because it is artwork, um, which normally would fall under just a general vendor. Arts and crafts, yeah. Um, so we, but because okay. that's okay, just because they do have a nonprofit, that's what they've applied under. Yeah. Okay. Um, so obviously you realize that the nonprofit status of Village Fest provides a far lower fee than a general yes. vendor does. So it's just kind of an odd situation. Odd, uh, but the board gets to decide which category you want someone to fall under. Um, and then we go from there. And okay. I'm I'm good with yeah I'm good with it too. So that there, he teaches kids yeah and does has right. a school and does yeah. all that for kids. So. How do you but, select the recipients of your the proceeds of your nonprofit? Um, so our biggest one is Newport Specialty Hospital, where kids are plugged into machines the rest of their lives. It's in Santa Ana, and it's kind of buried in the back. So the the parents don't want any stress or anything like that. So. Um, mostly from baby shaking syndrome or falling off the playground. A lot of times with the family's fault that they're in there and they're awarded to the state. Mm -hmm. So Christmas, Easter, so forth, nobody shows up. Mm -hmm. oh, so we go into our volunteers with art supplies, TVs. They don't have regular sleeping yeah. uh, times. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. And as far as the art that you'll be showing, any artist that shows in your booth and sells in your booth will be donating 100% of the proceeds to this, or do they uh, get compensated for the cost of what it costs? Percentages. Everybody has a different percentage that they like to donate, sometimes 50%, sometimes 60%, sometimes 100%. So it's up to each artist. So now I'm a little 400 tired. different artists. So. 
I'm a little torn on that comment. I think it's fine. I think it's you know what I'm too. saying. You know what well, I'm saying, right? Because there is a profit. But not there, everybody but they have has a big of status. Yeah. yeah, they have yeah. nonprofit status, so it's not like yeah. the yeah. artists yeah. don't have a nonprofit. It's still their business. They're okay, donated. I see what you're doing. Yeah, so okay. it's so it's no different from having a exactly having a nonprofit with a with a silent auction. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I ask a question? I don't know if we can do it. Didn't we have some concern about some pieces? in the past that may have been a little too suggestive. I don't see anything here. I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay. Yeah. That? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's, you have a valid point. Thank yes, you. It, have was, some yeah. it was, it was male problem. genitalia yes. is what it was. Yeah. It was candles yeah. that were in the shape of male genitalia. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we're, we're, our art center is next to Nordstrom and the Apple Store and the shops in Michigan. Yeah. And yeah. we know how to tastefully choose art. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll 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 have to leave that to your discretion, but you know, if somebody's doing homoerotic sculptures or like Tom of Finland like homoerotic sketches. Yeah. Not for Village Fest because it's a family event. A lot of people bring their children. So, you know, it's out in the open and it does it really represents the city of Palm Springs. Yeah. Not just the adult population of Palm Springs. That's yeah. why we have to be careful about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like I don't, I, I don't consider that yeah. pornographic. Yeah. I don't keep everything current. Yeah. Uh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's okay. very okay. specific genitalia. Okay. okay. Perfect. Let's go. I'll make a motion that we approve this vendor at the Village Fest. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome Thank to you. Village Fest. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you do. It's wonderful. Appreciate it. And your work is gorgeous. It's really beautiful. I keep, I keep this for myself. <laughs> Can I ask your business in New York? It, it you said it was destroyed. Was it a fire? No, no, it was COVID. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. So yeah, because I'm trying to think. I'm from New York. I'm trying to think of any like disaster. It's like. Very recently, a par a multi level parking yeah, we saw that, but the collapse and yeah. all the cars went to like crazy. Yeah, this was COVID. You we had thought we were going to make it through, but I, yeah, I, I suggested to the landlords this is the world. And then there was uh, riots up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Never could have survived. We're always bad for that, but that's where all of the um, demonstrations are there and on Eighth Avenue. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, congr thank congratulations. You. Yeah, yeah, again, thank you. And last but not least at all, we have Goal Line Football, a nonprofit promotion and player recruitment. Heidi Hexum? Yeah, I'm Heidi. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, you are? Floyd Woman. Floyd Woman. Hi, Floyd. Yeah, we just brought uh, along the information that we were going to hand out yeah. at our, at our okay. We're a nonprofit football organization. Five on five football is something that not a lot of people are doing. We kind of created the game ourselves. We brought the rules and regulations. The first page there is why small uh, small sided sports. Why would anybody be interested in five man or eight man football? You know, uh, now, not every community can support eleven man football. Uh, play eleven man football. You need a football field. Uh, our game five on five football. We play on a modified field, and we, we can pop up in parks. We play at Victoria Park and Sunrise Park. That's fine. Uh, we're playing up in not Sky Park right now. Uh, so, in Palms. So that's the beauty of our game is that we can pop up in a park. And then our dream is to turn it into a community mixer. And then the, the be all end all dream is to get a, a field of our own so that way we can have events. So that way we can have vendors and all that stuff. Like a micro stadium, if you will. And we have some players in Palm Springs that are kind of planned out. The corner of Ramon right there. I mean, it's a nice one. Uh, you know, our architecture in Palm Springs is a big thing. So, you know, just getting everybody on the same page is the main thing. Yep. And it's for children, I take it? No, no, this adults. is an adult. This is uh, 18, 18 and up, but 18 yeah. to, to 24 is the, the primary. Yep. Uh, 18 to 24. So not every kid gets an opportunity to go to college and play football. Some people start jobs, you know, careers and stuff like that. So they don't really get that opportunity. Yep. And mm -hmm. uh, so what, what we offer is for those guys to make the footage, uh, the film that it takes to get an opportunity at that next level, whether it's with a, a arena football team, which Maybe a lot of you guys haven't heard of some of the arena football leagues around. You yeah. know, the Wranglers are a big, yeah. big uh, time. Tucson's got some teams and stuff. So some of these kids out here, they'd really like an opportunity to go play eight-man football, even though it's not 11-man football. Whenever I say that, the field size and the rules and regulations are different between these two. Just give an alternative to anything that would be negative that they would do with their lives. Sure, of course. So is this like a camp? 
No, I mean, you could consider it a camp, but it's an organization. It's, we're more of an organization. So bowling football itself is an organization. We train 18, 24 year old. There are teams that come in that form that are separate. So we've not, reached out yeah. to pre existing teams and we've asked them to play our game. And then they come and they join our organization, it's a charitable nonprofit. And in return, we have a prize and they win a prize for playing our game. So is there any uh, a revenue that Passes hands at all in any of this process? No, we've given out we've given yeah. out about seventeen thousand dollars since two thousand one, and it's all money that we've asked from the community or donated yeah. ourselves. We don't make it. Play. Okay, so yeah. is there a charge for the people to nope. join and play? Is there a charge to no. watch? We don't have league fees. We, we don't, don't have. have league where does your revenue come from if you we said you donated? Donation. Oh, so you have an open donation bucket at the event? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's what I want to. Know. Gotcha. Right. So if you check out our uh, website, you can see all of our donation links and all of our social media. And we appeal to the public to donate to us or to buy merchandise. We don't really sell any merchandise, but like print of five hoodies and t-shirts that represent the teams. We've kind of stepped into that, but we make no revenue. Sponsorship. So you wouldn't be offering those things in your booth? No, no. Well, no. In our booth, we offer information. Yeah. You know, to visit our website, and then once you visit our website, then there's a plethora of information. So you wouldn't be selling no. sponsorships at your booth. No, no. no we, we, that's we, just we our donation. You're not soliciting donations. No, we are. That's, we, yeah, that's, that's what, what we'd like to do is solicit donations to, to, and to donate to the. Can they do that at Village Plus? They're 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 five hundred and one seats. So, um, are okay. you new yeah. in the desert? No, we've well, been out here since yeah. two thousand twelve. And are you doing it already? Yeah, the program has been since yeah, the program has been since twenty twenty. So you've already got a group of kids. Well, yeah, got all got adults. Yeah, adults. Yeah, young adults. Eighteen to twenty-four. But we have guys that are forty years old. We have oh. guys that are in their thirties. We have guys that uh, play football in the past that don't have an avenue. That are like, oh, bowling football, five-man football, and they've yeah. kind of bought into the idea. So our age group is is up to the forties, but oh. we're really looking for oh. eighteen to twenty-four year old kids. That kind of missed the college avenue because of yeah. different reasons. They got jobs. What are you doing about liability? What yeah, we have liability insurance. Yeah, I got liability insurance, and then for it's the first one, uh, yeah. uh, they do a waiver, so they sign a personal. So someone waiver. has to say, okay. Yep, and then yeah. we got the liability insurance that takes the. Uh, yeah. What's that to, um, ratio or? Actually, ratio, I don't know. We had a few guys get hurt, but it's both nothing. And but but nothing serious. Nothing, nothing. Whenever it comes to life, no concussions, no. No. Well, we've well, got a, the same protocol as you know. The yeah, we use the exact same protocol. We follow, and oddly enough, uh, not that we are the NFL. We follow the protocols of National Football. We 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 follow their rules and regulations to the best of our ability, with a few modifications. But whenever it comes to the protocols, we consider ourselves a real organization, and we follow all of those protocols to the degree of concussions. And, and we've gotten a lot of that information from our insurance yeah. providers, uh, mm -hmm. sports. Insurance provider. I'm really proud of our website. All of this information is at goalinefootballofficial.com, and that includes the player information, how they can get insurance. It explains how Cover California. And that was works. actually one of our our handouts is talking about the that they should have their own personal insurance. That they need to think twice before playing a contest. If you got a job that offers insurance, you're covered through your job. Mm -hmm. so right. the personal insurance, the personal injury insurance. We're not leaving it up to the players. Don't get me wrong. But we're showing them how to get insured yeah. and play football. So that's kind of like Pop Warner used to be a long time ago. Well, you Pop Warner would be you. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, and I like what you're doing, don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to figure out what 18 to 25 year olds have the time that they're not working and going to school. Well, that's how do they, do they find it on the Saturday or yeah, Sunday? We, or? we play on Sunday. Yeah. That's where they Okay. Play. We try to play on Saturdays, but eight man arena league football and all the semi pro. You know, you call them amateur football, they consider themselves super pro. In Southern California, they all play on Saturday. So we saw that being a big issue. So we moved us to Sunday. Mm -hmm. And you play in football big... fields now? No, we play in city parks. parks. That's city the beauty park. of our game. Oh, we only, need, we only need 85 feet by 90 feet. You play in Demuth Park? We, we, we did our very first, our concept game in 2021 at Demuth. And it's not that I don't like it. And see, the thing is, is we're competing everywhere we go for uh, space with soccer. Yep. Like soccer, oh, and man. to get inside <laughs> to play at night in the summer and the desert is impossible. Soccer, the sport of the millennium. Are taken. And we could fit in a baseball game. Why don't you get the high school football field? Uh, cost. 
they want a few hundred bucks and they, they want, do yeah oh yeah to, to play our game on a football field if we wanted to be an 11 man football organization we would have to have a lot of community support to to get onto a field wow. because the field expenses are the yeah. most just to run the lights just for instance palm desert play at freedom park they want 500 dollars deposit and then they want 30 dollars an hour for the lights mm -hmm. and then obviously there's a fee that they're yeah. going to keep out of that 500 if whenever we leave it doesn't look right yeah, so yeah. A lot of money, you know, for some guys just to be playing football in the Especially so if question. you're nonprofit. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question about I'm looking at your booth and I if I was walking by this, I would have no idea what this is about. Yeah, I might just walk by it. Uh it goal well, line no, no. football. I mean it doesn't yeah, it, sure. it doesn't say anything. Goal line football. So really whenever that booth is there, that information that you have there, we're speaking to sponsors that would, would like to sponsor with us because in sports like Palm Spring Power and stuff, the same way they get sponsorships, that's the route that we're trying to take. So we're we're appealing to sponsors. We're appealing to people that want to play goal line football, and that's really the two groups of people that we're right. But I'm, what I'm saying is, this doesn't. Uh, you'd have to know about. I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm not in that picture, and I'll be at that booth in Palm Springs, and I'm the information that you're looking for. I'm the one that's going to be talking. And, and yeah, I so. So, so the information that is on the paper would be really the only paper we had there. And then like, it's well, come play, come watch type yeah, thing. Is that yeah, what you're doing? Yeah, Are you and not to say that we want advanced pass yeah. to get the get the, the signings that you're recommending, but for us to go out into the public, this is our first venture. Well, we're, we're just asking, asking, we're not recommending it, just to be clear. So 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 we we really we're at the startup level of hey, yeah. we go live football, would you like to play our yeah, game or would you like to sponsor what we're doing? Like I know that not everyone's into social media, but that's all that we're about. That's the yeah. only reason why we do this. It's a charitable nonprofit, but the dream is, is to get people to buy in on social media you're talking about. If you're familiar with some of the celebrities now. So do you about. stop people that are passing by and say, hey, you, you, uh, you have any... Um, Please like, follow, and subscribe okay. on the internet. Gotcha. Check yeah. us out on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. That's pretty much so what I'm yeah, going to do there. Okay. And that okay. information is on the And let me just ask one more question. So you are going to be behind the table. You're not yeah. going to be out in front no, trying to grab people. Yeah. Okay. And I'm explaining to people, I'm looking, yeah. looking for the, the kids that want to play and the adults that have a liking for football that are thinking, man, I can sponsor that. Or the businesses that say, you know, hey, you know, we'll put our advertisement on that the same as that we do the Palm Springs. Yeah. Right. And, we and don't I mean, have... we've been to Village Fest and I mean, people just kind of wander through and, and I, our hope is that they would wander yeah. over to us and say, hey, what are you guys talking about? They do wander through, but I, you, you heard me say earlier and, and I appreciate what you're doing. It's an artisan fair. Exactly. Well, sports, and, sports and entertainment. I'm not trying can to... Can I finish, finish please? It's it's an artisan fair, and and you're there to promote a concept that I I really struggle with how Palm Springs will be a better place because of what you're trying to do. If it was fantasy football or something like that, something I, I might I might be a little bit I more physical fitness, and I promote promote healthy lifestyle. But and there's really but no you're you're building a business. You're 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 looking for sponsorship by your own words. Well, you're looking for donation well, by your own words. Back into all that goes back into the organization. Well, that, all that goes back in. in. No, that's we're not what, making any money. That's what most nonprofits are, though. Yeah. The, the, the gentlemen and the dentists and everybody else. That's what they're all looking the for. That's the artists. But that's, that's but they're nonprofit. We don't even have a paycheck. Please stop. Please stop. Let me touch on that. Look, goldlinefootballofficial.com, and if you go to our Facebook page and all the content that I make to tell me that I'm not an artist would be absolutely crazy. I'm a digital artist. I really put a lot of time inside the digital artist. Yeah, if you check website. out this information, if you go to goldlinefootballofficial.com, but we're not a but website. But you're selling a gang. Uh, you're selling a, a. What we're selling is I'm selling the concept of what we're yeah, doing I, to the public, the same as UFC, the WWE, the NFL. We're arts and entertainment. Our slogan is bringing opportunities to communities through arts and entertainment. Yeah. But it doesn't yeah. seem to me like it's a, it's really an entertainment. I mean, didn't we have a, a speaker, you know, yeah. presenters in the past that said, but we do this on for, that for a second. underprivileged children, or we do this for well, the people right before them. Go to hospitals. Yeah, and that kind of I thing. mean, that was like, yeah. oh, sure. And a, lot, right. and a lot of people don't have a lot of stuff to do besides but I think, drugs and I think, alcohol from the age 18 to 18 and on. <laughs> <It's not>. There's <laughs> not a whole lot of stuff. You know what? You know if you're what? not going to the bar to drink, I don't drink alcohol. So I don't drink. I don't play video games. I don't watch TV. Yeah. I really honestly, I put a lot of my heart and soul into the football aspect. I know you guys are saying this. I support them. And they could or not. 
but, but we put seventeen thousand dollars of our own money into other people's. So, so, so let me just let me just let me just make a statement to you. I think what Greg is saying and what some of us are feeling is we have a lot of people coming before us who want to dispense information and we are not an information venue we are an arts and crafts venue we have products like the glass and the ceramics and stuff that people come down the street to to buy so it, it's changing the nature of and we're the gatekeepers. We have to decide how much we no, want to be information. Let me just finish, please. We have to decide how much information we want to dispense versus how much art we want to dispense. So that's really what we're. That's really the. I, I understand the definition. what you guys are saying, and and I, I stand that that we are arts and entertainment. I I put so much effort into gaining people's attention with with the, what, what I do. You know the video. But you have to go online to see that, and you can't walk by your booth and see that. But he and could put a he could put a video. Yeah. Yeah, he could I can plug in TV. I can, I can play our game. Yeah, I can have the TV okay, and play our games so the whole entire time. And and the play is but, 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 wow. but one thing that I do mention and I go back to is this is our first venture and ever stepping out in front of the community. So I really, you know, you guys said take a picture of the tent and get a sign. And I just, I'm walking the guidelines of, okay, this is what they want. You know, this isn't anything that I ever anticipated doing, but we are getting attention. I appreciate your passion. If I had something yeah. to sell, I'd want you on my team. Yeah. And so <laughs> I've done a good job. I, you I've done like a very good job. Something. I appreciate it. No, like no, no, no. And something. I'm being very, very honest with you. So I'd like to say that he's very passionate about this. We've taken a lot of nonprofits, and that's what all nonprofits do is try to collect donations. He's working with different age groups of people. The street fair is, ba is basically going to dictate whether he's going to get people or not. If in a month or two, no one signs up. We'll but it also sets a precedence, Julie. And also, if we have a bunch of booths where they're just handing out flyers of what they, you know, what they're trying to promote, again, we're losing. It becomes a flea market. It and becomes an informational exchange. And we're really a, a product exchange and I'm, not, and I'm not trying to just you, you, you gotta let them you gotta let them talk my so my other question to you is i think in one essence you're looking up the wrong people in a way because i think you should be going more towards the local news stations i think you be should be going and advertising which isn't a lot of money you know uh there's a companies like uh, coachella valley yahoo.com there's a lot of places where you can grasp more people than the people that are walking by and looking for things to buy. So the I Palm think Springs the news Post media, I think the, uh, what's his name? Show Eye on the Desert. Palm you know, Springs. Post. Post. Yeah. All these people will get you what you Spectrum need. Even. The, the fair will dictate whether you get business or not. I personally don't know. But Maybe it was just me, but I always was concerned why we had the arena. Um, we're going to talk about that on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's our. That's, and that's what this. That's. Kinda, yeah. This yeah, is that. that that's. Arena? Yeah. Well, you do oh, have the a, arena. Yeah, you do have a but, category that is for local attractions. It's very yeah, specified. Right. Attraction. They're not not category. category. Right. Not attraction. Mm -hmm. Right. Which. Now, would these guys fall into that? I'm so not sure. Understand how this is nonprofit. That they have they a 501c3, which is the only requirement for your nonprofit right. and your and rules and one it's second, only, let us finish. It's please. the only written requirement. The only written requirement in your rules and regulations is that you have to have you have to be a 501c3. So anybody can apply under that. A theater company is a 5013C, or a the neighborhood organizations that make up one Palm Springs are 5013Cs. And, and they all they ask for money and donations. And they do entertainment. And they do, they do, and they, and they do the exactly. The and they ask for money. And everybody wants donations. But they so don't that's how to, they, they don't survive. The that's trust. how their nonprofits right. survive. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's one they make the village trust. That's one my point. Yeah. One yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 they're all approved. Yeah. The yeah. That you're naming are approved desert. Mm -hmm. like, they they desert theater. come about once a month. Sometimes they skip some months. Yeah. They do come about once a month. We have realtors that even. Yeah. We're, we're you know. Yeah. But what I'm just saying is, I think the street will dictate to him whether how long he stays. Well, and also when Friday we can discuss this in more detail. Yeah decide what we want to do about it. and again as i said earlier and you know in all fairness to these folks um if we've accepted their application at this point once we set those guidelines 
those guidelines will also be utilized in deciding whether or not to accept an application. Am I correct? Right. It'll, it'll and that, get yeah. dropped at a staff level based on direction yeah. from the board. But right. we're not, yeah. like you said, we're not at yeah. that point yet. So obviously it's before you today. And this is no slight to what you guys do. I mean, I think it's great, but, um, but we're kind of struggling at this point because we're, we're sort of at a risk of, of the artisan fair losing its purpose mm -hmm. and becoming just a commercial venue and it's not supposed to be that however that said we i don't think we can hold them to uh, again to a new guideline that we haven't set it's really i think i'm struggling about the category itself if they shouldn't be a local attraction or even um entertainment now, how often do you intend to come to We're a monthly event, and uh, well, so we would, we, we, we would like to be at Bella's. So you want to come every week, because entertainment's not every week. Entertainment is, we have a limited number of entertainment vendors at each each week, and so we slot them in when we can. That's I, So so I probably wouldn't want to put you there if you want to be here every week. That's well, why I was asking. The only reason I would say, I feel like if you put an entertainment as it was entertainment, I feel like they would be expecting to be entertained. <laughs> Well, and, and once you, know you get uh, an eleven players, or how many ever players, how many how many teams can you? So being at Village Fest every single week seems like overkill. If you got and a bunch of people, I don't, don't want to bore you guys with the dream, but the dream is to build an eighteen league in Coachella Valley. Okay, we're we ask teams that are pre existing from Bakersfield, and they're part of our league, and we would always incorporate them in. But the dream was always to get 80 to 100 guys out here because we had the city parks and we could pop up in the park. 1-800 seats for you drops off some bleachers. We've never done that, but it's possible. You get some food vendors. The next thing you know, you have like this little micro stadium that you created at Sunrise Way or Victoria or Freedom Park. And then it becomes this little following. That so almost have. as an accelerator for you to build. build if you look at all the seven goals, we don't charge anyone say. anything. So how nice would it be to start these people off and it get really popular and they started at Village? Well, that's why I just said so yes, that we're charged with managing the closest one that fits for what they're proposing community. and to provide a venue for community activities. Community and activities. Yeah, and, and, and I'm okay I, with I that. Think it, I think it misses, quite honestly. You do? Okay. Yeah. Well, what I don't about, think it's... Here's an idea. What, if, what about giving them a time-limited, like, say, three months? Can we do that? We don't even have a full street yet. Months. They can come down by my way. They can come can down by me. Three months, that would let us know if we wanted to participate any further. And well, that's, I think that's a good compromise. Place, but, you know, three months. <clears throat> but you're going to give them the summer months? Well, they'll take, take the whenever months. they want. I mean, if they want to start I'll in October, that's like, like I'm if so they got on. About what well, they right pay now, by the but... month anyway. So okay. if there's a month they don't want to come, they can stop you know, for a month and start again. You know, we're yeah. not full. We got a whole Do month. Yes, it is because we, we want people down by us. Yeah, but we don't want a that's... bunch of informational yeah. boots. Again, it's an arts and crafts. The, it's the, a the fair will dictate to them whether they stay or leave. Well, like it doesn't say. matter. Would you I, be comfortable having a limit of like three months? Yeah. Okay. I just want. I just. I just want to get goal line football's name out into the community. We've done everything we can. We make some great videos, and I know nobody's going to pull out their phone and go there now. But what we're doing as two people is a production that I'm telling you right now. The lady mentioned TBS and all these channels. I, in my heart, feel if I keep the same passion up within the next two years to five years, which is a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a reality. We're going to be on TV. We're going to go line football is five man football. It's a combination of the UFC, WWE, because how we match make our games and how we create our characters, but then the realism of football. Well, we, we so appreciate and new, understand creative. your goals creative, and creative. appreciate your passion yeah, we're just trying to decide as a board right. how to structure and this if whether you, if you give us three months you keep interrupting and i right. i'd like to be able to finish the sentence um and i know you're passionate that's part of your passion so i get that but we have to decide whether or not you fit into village fest and i think a compromise might be to give them like a three-month pass is it something that we could do and say like in three months then they have to re-jury yeah i would say six months because i would get them into the fall summer. i would i would, I would get them into the fall because it's hard it's, yeah, the, uh, well we're talking about june july august september 
for that's for I will give them October, November, get them in so they yeah. but they will start you, now. They don't yeah. want to wait till October. No, no, well, but she's saying no, now. she's saying why yeah. don't we give them into the fall and have them come back in November to rejury? Let them start now. That's that's what she's proposing. I don't I'm not that's not even a motion, but, but if we yeah. get if we decide on Friday that we're going to start cutting back on yeah. nonprofits and grandfather. Oh. I, I don't think there's an obligation for us to trial any vendor to see mm -hmm. if okay. they make it or not. If they don't come and stand and and bring benefit based on our goals to the city of Palm Springs and the tourists and the downtown businesses, we've missed the mark. And I'm sorry. Um, I, I believe in what you're saying. But I I cannot support it, and and that's, we haven't taken a vote yeah. yet. No, I, I'm just being very honest. Let's put the council vote. Diverse group of board members. So exactly. All have exactly. Your own perspectives, yep. and you get to make. I'd probably like to see you take a TV and put it in the back, and maybe show some of your videos. Really that makes it creative. That. But that makes it creative then. Um, I'll I'll retake that picture with the TV in the background playing our game with the man. That's but, but, we don't all agree that that makes it creative. Yeah, and that's, that and that's okay. But that's TV okay. But is everyone vote. prepared to vote if a motion is put on the floor? Yes. Okay. Does anyone have, have any further questions for these folks? Is anyone prepared to make a motion? I make a motion. I make a motion that we accept them for six months into Village Fest and see how it goes. He's got a dream. And who are we to stop this dream? With a rejury in November, you're saying? Yes. Okay. Well, so, in, so was that your motion? Discuss now? Uh, uh, once the motion second. goes on the floor, okay. you have to. That's why I asked before that. I'm sorry. Well, no, that's you can okay. First to second, and then you can have a conversation. Yeah. Before we vote, we can, mm -hmm. but we have to finish this. So, is there a second for Julie's? You want to restate it? <laughs> sorry. Um, I that I feel that uh, we should accept <clears throat> him for six months and then rejury in six months. Uh, in November. In what's, November what's for him to yeah. come back. And I feel that we shouldn't stop somebody from a creative dream that they have for the kids and adults. Well, that's color on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's not so much. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's motion. Get it in not there. the motion. Okay. So, um, all right. So, there's the motion on the floor. I no. wonder if no, we're we setting No, no, no. We have to have a second. Oh, is there a second for the motion or is, is there a friendly amended motion? I watch the council meeting. Uh, I finally figure out how to do this. Okay. Sorry. But I would amend that motion uh, this way. I think that we should, because we your point is well taken, that we haven't set a standard for nonprofits. Mm -hmm. We haven't said you can't, you know, no more nonprofits or whatever we're going to do. Um, so I, I see the the unfairness to these people. I'm going to make a motion that we accept them for three months and no no uh callback just you got three months to be out on the street and if you make it you make it and if you don't then you got to find a different venue a different way of advertising is that allowed by our guidelines for she us to make a terminal agree. no but is is it allowed for us to make a terminal um yeah, assessment a, like that's like three months even mm -hmm. though that they pay for an application fee the same as some for your right. so if like i want to understand so it's just three months and that's all they get they don't it, what if, that's they, what that's, they do that's, that's that. the amended motion however julie has to agree to it because she made the first motion yes, exactly. if she does not three months and that's it yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. they're saying they they would take three months that they think they but, could build in three months so i want to all amend your amendment okay uh, if you want to do three, <laughs> months, I agree to the three months, but I think that they can, if they're doing good and they like it and they want to revisit us in three months, they have that right to come back. So you're okay with say, the three months, but you're saying that you'd want to rejury them in three months. Yeah, yeah, well, you don't want to be terminal. At the end of three months, they're what if they're now? Can we talk? Well, yeah. No. Okay. No, 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 I don't think. No, 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 no. no, no. There, we don't have a second. Yeah, yeah, have we have to get the motion set, right. and then you can talk before we vote. I just think if they do good in three months. But hold that thought. Right. Don't lose it. What's it's stopping good. us? Good for them or good for us? It's good for all of us. Well, People are coming to see them again, at, our, at a fair again in the summertime. Julie, again, we're talking about whether we promote information or whether we promote product and we art. do both right now. We do both, and it's getting tilted. It's getting too much information. So I'm. I'm comfortable allowing another information booth to come in until we can settle this on Friday or at least start discussing it on Friday, but just give them three months because I think we have enough informational booths. Can I arbitrate here between two Can days? I just say one more thing? Sure. So what if they come back in a 
in a creative mode and they've figured out the ideas that they want. It's still not an art project. It's so not an art project. It's yeah. an information. But, but, I, I, can I arbitrate between the two? Who wants to say something? Does, does anybody uh, believe in digital art? And and that would that would no. Not for this venue. I mean, I, I think digital crap. art is, but it's not something you're promoting. You're that's promoting the baseball. You're no, promoting good. the that's football. All right. You're not promoting the digital. So what I was going to say is, if we don't make it terminal, we we still have to rejury in three months. If if we set a new guideline, which we aim to do, to minimize the information and get us back into the balance of it being mostly artists and craft, at that time when they're rejuried, we will have the prerogative to say, we don't think this fits into the goal and guideline set of Village Fest at this time, right or wrong, is that correct? And we would, and it would be fair if at that time we wanted to terminate them, or it would also be fair if at that time we determine, you know what, we only have X percent, because we're gonna study that, we have X percent of informational of and of that, only half of them are nonprofit, and we've set a goal of this percent, and they still fall in, so we can keep them for now and grandfather them in, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that an option? Would that be amenable to yeah, both? Yeah, I like, I like that. Okay, yeah. so it, it would be amending your original motion to three months and saying at the end of three months, we will rejury them, and that we will also consider at that time whatever amendments we make to the guidelines in the meantime, Fair. which because we're at we're sort of at a crossroads right now with that. So, you know, the category on what you're doing and happen to come in, you know, timing is everything is unfortunate because it sort of puts you through all the stress of this. And I'm really sorry for that. And please accept our, our heartfelt apology for that. But um, it is that there is, there are, there's a standing issue here between us trying to figure out who Village Fest is anymore because it's losing. It, it's not losing, but we're at at risk of losing the identity a little oh, bit. We need to go through all that. Okay, yeah. So anyway, so um, <laughs> so let's go to the motion. The motion okay, is no. approve you for three months and then rejury, but understand but, that you would be subjected to whatever guideline changes we make. And we, we may that. change our minds. We may say no more nonprofits at that at that point. Right after the three months. After okay. the three months. All right. Now so, and who's the no, second? Wait, wait. Second. wait so that's your motion. motion. I said oh, it, you said second. Okay, so, so you agree to it. Okay, okay, yeah. fine. Go ahead, David. Yeah, sorry. Precedent now? Do we have, have has this ever been done before? What? What? Did we say, oh, you get a three month trial or a six we month do trial? Whatever, we yeah, can we do have, whatever. Yeah, you have that. I just wonder if it's been yeah, done or yeah. how are yeah. people going to use it as we a. We could maybe discuss that on Friday. That could be but a yes, way of. Yes, you guys did, did do that one other time for a, 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 she was entertainment, I guess, or arts and crafts. You did the kids. That, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes she yes, lasted, yes. I think, two of them. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. And she realized, as we suspected, that it wasn't, yeah. yeah, that the market wouldn't carry it. All right. So does everybody right. understand what the motion is? So everyone understands the motion. I'm not repeating it. <laughs> everyone, I can repeat it if we need to. Anyone prepared to, is everyone prepared to vote? David, you look I'm a little pensive. I'm, okay. I'm on the fence. Okay. Well, hey. Well, but you're ready to vote either way, right? Or to abstain or whatever. Think. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's take a vote. Mm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. So Still one, one, and three. Okay. All right, so you got three months. <laughs> all right, so you're approved. And again, apologies for how awkward this was, but um, thank you for your patience. And we're, again, it's no, great. Just trying to get a 24 year old uh, adult something to do. I really personally don't think Palm Springs offers a whole lot for. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll, we'll see because you'll you'll in three person. months you'll get a bunch yeah, of. Yeah. Yeah. If you wow us, we're going to sit here with our hands in our lap and say thanks and come back. You know. Hey, thank you. I do appreciate you guys. I'm sorry yeah. that I was a little bit. No, off. it's okay. No, no, no this is no, this yeah. is the process that actually does. Spark a little bit of defensiveness, and we apologize for that. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. I can't wait for Friday, so we can set some standards. I don't know what happens on Friday. I'm not reading my emails. I am just. We're not... we're looking at agenda. We're looking at eleven thirty to two thirty. What is it? Right in the middle of the that day. Was it's like, I live at eleven thirty to two thirty. It's oh, it's early. It's in the morning till eleven. 
2.30. Okay. 11.30 to 2.30. That's not in the morning, Julie. I have an 8 to 5 job. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't set the time. Well, I, yeah. I, I did raise that to these guys, but I thought you told me that he's... That was the it. email you sent with the afternoon worked better. Right? Afternoon, like 2.30 to right. 5. Right, and then you had something in the afternoon. No, no, mine was, mine was fr uh, Friday was better this is why Saturday. I wanted to do it Saturday, which already yeah, passed. Saturday was it. not an option. Uh, There's okay. multiple people who couldn't even do okay. it on Saturday. Okay, cool. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry, but I'm so just like 1130 to 230. I could well, you, you, you know, if you wanted to, we'll read a uh, computer and you could do a Zoom link. Yeah, you can. By the way, 9% mm -hmm. of our vendors now are nonprofits. How much? 9%. That's, That's a lot. Yeah. In the past two meetings, we've added four. Well, they're in the rules and regulations. It used to be six percent, but they took that. Um, well, we're going to be doing that all over we, again on Friday with a number. And we number. just had like eight three today. We, Actually, three the meeting's still on. So we should have five our speakers. Art yeah. people. So I mean, it is growing. Can I? No can matter what. Long? Yeah, it's getting light. Okay. Um, sustainability. Um, un, any unfinished business? None. Okay. New business sustainability. Many of you might know Dr. Roy Clark. Um, he's been uh, involved in the city for many, many years. He was heavily involved in One Palm Springs and led the CEW group for years. Um, Is your I worked, microphone on? Because we're still being recorded and people won't be able to hear you. I, I worked with him on a city council study group on the noise ordinance when there was a, uh, yeah. when there was an interest to take a look at the noise ordinance that kind of went by the wayside. But he's now working with Lindsay Page McCloy, who's the director of sustainability um, for the city. Roy approached me and said that they would like to come before the Village Fest board and talk about sustainability okay. and partner with us to begin to work okay. together. I said I would propose it to my colleagues, and if there was an interest, perhaps the next meeting they could both show up and uh, address the board. Um, didn't we have Patrick do this once, Joe? I remember that. Patrick well, used to be in trouble. I, I, I remember his last name. Patrick Tallarico, I do remember his last name. Yeah. Yeah. I just oh. want to know what it is. What do you mean by different? Like, what are they going to do for us? Oh, like They're going to discourage you from using styrofoam and yeah. sorting. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested. I think that the city has too much involvement in everything that people do. And I think that it should be left to the people. Give the order and let them take care of it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Just like straws and plastic bags. It's too much. Yeah, It's too much. But it would be interesting to know where they're going, what they're thinking about. Well, because we have vendors who do this kind of stuff and we maybe need to know what the future is going to be in terms yeah. of what the city's going to require. And a while ago we actually did um we I think we even communicated to all the vendors mm -hmm. about sustainable container stuff, but then the city sort of had a step back on it. They didn't they didn't carry through. We were pairing them all for that's why I mentioned it to the vendors who are here. It was but prior it, to COVID. Yeah. yeah. And then COVID hit and I, the city took some steps back because Businesses were just trying to. I didn't survive. realize that was the reason, but that's yeah. interesting. Thank you. And yeah. then just post COVID, now they're trying to re engage yeah. all of those previous requirements. And to be fair, it would be interesting to hear what they have to say as far as what they would recommend how to help vendors. Also, the other part might be the city may be willing to issue grants to help vendors come into sustainability, into sustainability compliance with their, with their packaging. So, so it so it may be a ben so there may be a benefit for for our vendors so we're so I think we're obliged to hear what what's out there to say if it's only about putting on restrictions what we would hear is what is the city fixing to do and then we have to wait for a decision made to see if that really happens because yeah. you don't know who on council my sense is that they were looking for a partnership rather than to dictate. What month. that's what happened the first time, but we weren't able to get much farther. If you remember when we started with Patrick, did they kind of drop the ball on we were supposed to be getting certain kind of receptacle containers for, for a trash and things right. like that, and it never happened. And you know, the price of food has gone up, the price of everything has gone up. These people are trying to make a living like everybody else. It's like, yeah. why are we dictating? Yeah. I mean, they don't want to spend expensive for expensive things either. I yeah. mean, these are not these are not cheap, yeah. right? Compared to uh, a hot dog uh, bowl, those are a lot. But I'm pretty sure that 
of responsibility to do what we can for the environment. Yes. And that's really what this is about. Not to try to impose yeah. penalties on anybody. And maybe we say to them, look, no, it's, it's not for us. But yeah, I think it's in our best interest. I, I think we're sharing in representing the city and the residents of Palm Springs. To say, let's listen to what they have to say, and, and that's my recommendation. And, and, and is there anything that they can offer to our vendors and to small mom and pop businesses to to assist with that? If if they want to carry through a program and if they would like compliance, what can they offer to assist with that? Not just let's. Make everybody yeah, maybe they have resources where people can buy, yes. you know. That's what we talked to Patrick about the last time, actually, exactly. which was so, interesting. So and then, yeah. You can't use these, or you might want to, but we can give you a yeah. resource where you can find mm -hmm. this kind of thing. Yeah. Would okay. the board like me to invite them to our next meeting, or I think Jasmine, we'll let... would you reach out to them? What's the appropriate Jasmine, I way? I, I could work with Lindy. Uh, yeah, I'd like to keep Roy in uh -huh. the, the loop. So can I send you his contact Absolutely. information and then you can coordinate that? No and can we yeah. have a lighter agenda for that meeting? So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that'll be quite a discussion. Yeah. I'd also like to go it doesn't have to be the next one, but it would be somewhere. whenever. Yes. I'd also like to go to the city and find out, you know, these girls start at seven in the morning. And what time is it now? It's eight o'clock. Why can't we have an earlier meeting? Why can't we go and write a letter again to the city? Agreed. Actually, I think, Jasmine, you were going to post that. Remember I told you that okay. I had spoke? Okay, and what happened? So it just went to the city clerk's office. And from what my understanding is, there's multiple boards and commissions. I've got to ask you the same question. They all want to like, move their yeah. time back. And it's more of a discussion than it has been yeah. previously. Because I think now we've all had to deal with it for a span of time. Mm -hmm. We were even doing our... Our Zoom meetings late. So um, by now we have a new council. Right. But it has to go to council because council originally made a decision. So it went into the ordinance that we are changing all the time. Well, if we can get Jeffrey Burns. Yeah, I was just going to say, say, maybe we can pose that as one of our issues. To yeah. I think we definitely want to mention that to Jeffrey. I have mentioned it to him before. And I also told him that the other problem we have that we want council to Hooper get off the pot with is why not? We're having so much fun at the same right? Um, <laughs> is is that we were made to not replace John, and even though we're six people, we sometimes have a problem getting quorum for four. That's right. So I'm sorry, yeah, I know. No, that I'm not looking at you. No. I'm just saying we do have that problem, and and this board was designed for seven for, for seven for that reason. So it is a problem, and especially having an even number on a board. And it's been how long now? I mean, it's really long. So I think we want to implore Jeffrey Bernstein to bring that to council and say, don't just relegate us to, oh, well, that's for the new city manager to deal with. That's all we keep on hearing. But the city manager is drinking from a fire hose right now. Let's face it, he just came in here. I can't imagine how overwhelming this is. May I make a comment about yes. that? I um, I know you said Jeffrey may be interested in coming to the meeting on Friday. I would prefer that our meeting on Friday be our board and that if we have a conversation with anybody on the city council, that we do it collectively once we've come together with, with where we are. Well, this is this was more based on his request a while ago. Actually, you connected me to him because he spoke to you at the Chamber of Commerce meeting, right? And he wanted to sort of address the board on some ideas he has for Village Fest and some of his impressions of Village Fest. So it's not for him to sit through the whole meeting and plan with us. It's really meant for a 15 to 20 minute time slot for him to address us. And we'd have to keep it to that because otherwise then he takes up the meeting. If he's coming to address us and then he's dismissed, then I would say I would approve that. Um, if as a business owner downtown, which he is, yeah. and, and yes. um, we have joy to represent the business on this I know, and I brought that up. And um, I don't think right now where we are as a group in formulating yeah. where Village Fest is going to go, that we need a lot of help from city council. Yeah. But you know, and I, I don't think it's about that. I does. think it's more allowing him a voice just to express his opinion. I've had another that. city council person tell me, be cautious about that. Okay. So let me tell you that Jeffrey sits in on our bill on our uh, chamber meeting and he comes for 30 minutes 
does his spiel about what he does, what's going on in the city, and then he's gone. So Jeffrey is, uh, I think because he is a businessman, he sees a lot of the problems that goes on in Palm Springs with businesses, far more than Joy would. I feel that he's essential because he can get our thoughts together for the board, for the council. And I think our one of them is an early. I think he can work with that one. I think he can work with um, the the issues about uh, that he wanted to bring up about expanding it past Baristo. I mean, look, we can't even fill it now. So I'm just saying that if he has some ideas and he knows that he's going to be there for either 30 minutes or an hour or so, just 30, 30 minutes. 15, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so you make very good points. You, so you we, really do. Easily, but, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was going to say, we could just ask him to attend the last 30 minutes of your meeting. That's what I would like. That's, that's what I would like. Yeah. You know, then there you have go. time to have your discussion and you that have a sense. little more of a collaborative thought process that you then have the ability to communicate to him um, if he's looking for that or if he wants to provide you feedback. Um, you know, yeah. that's some, provide you some yeah. opportunities for growth. But he's only one that. member of the city council. Right. Well, and please, yeah, let me finish this statement. We've been empowered by the city council to guide Village Fest with the help of staff. And by gosh, I think that's what we need to do. Yeah. And in any corporation, it's management's job to push up yeah. and say, here's how we see this should be run, as opposed to top managing management pushing that's down. Why and in my experience, one member of correct. Right. Well, in my experience. And that's why having you come at the end when we have had yes, a chance that's, that's to kind brilliant. of formulate what Very we good. want makes a lot of sense but right. if i can answer to that so we're supposed to have a member of council assigned to us to be our liaison to council do we have one and no but it was lisa but i'm pretty sure really it's now. It was, that's it was what i what? understand really because i've been no, on this board for four years i'm pretty sure it's the heart now is it the heart i believe so if it is the heart then it should be the heart coming in not absolutely the that's right dan you're exactly right so but he's Wait, not a business owner. Jeffrey, but, but, but we don't need him as a business owner. We need him as a council member. So the so the interesting thing is that when I spoke to Jeffrey, he said there's no one assigned to Village Fest, and I'd be happy to be that council person. I said, well, if you would be and would help us make our case to council for some of the things that we need, we welcome that. That's how that was my first conversation with him. So I'm confused by this. Let me, I let me, let me, yeah, okay. yeah. You you sure I'll, confirm. I'll confirm that. Yeah. Because if it's a heart, invite to heart for the last 15 minutes just to meet, meet and greet. And then because it's not heart, Jeffrey said, Jeffrey, no, she said that she thinks it's the heart that's been assigned to Village Fest. Yes. The last the conversation I had with the mayor's office, I believe they were going to assign to heart to Village Fest. Okay. Now, was that solidified at a council meeting? I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, and I haven't heard anything back since then. So let me follow up and find okay. out. Okay. So my last comment to what you said was, we are not the authority to Village Fest. We're an arm to Village Fest. I didn't say the authority. I said well, we we're empowered. empowered. We're not that empowered. Yes, we're yeah. not that yes, empowered. We're. No, we're not. We're not. We're not that empowered. We can do suggestions. And still, no. everything has to go to city council. We're yeah. making decisions every single day about. Well, this stuff, yeah. But I'm just saying when it comes to things with the city and other things that we need, they're really not. We're just there. We're their spokespeople for what's going on. But we do make decisions. Like we made a decision that this vendor was going to be here for three months. Oh, yeah, this is it. what we do. Right. Go, go, so we, go well, to the city charter and read about boards and commissions and their role in the city. And that will give you a really good explanation of what that role is and the mm -hmm. role city council mm -hmm. plays in that and the way citizens who are appointed to these commissions and board, what their responsibilities are. Appeals to the city council. Right. So can we change our times? No, that we cannot. Because it's their facility. I mean, you know. and it, Well, it's an, it, was, it's, it was an ordinance written that's very right. specifically because yeah. they wanted the council wanted right. to provide space for working folks to be able to attend all of our boards and, and recording ability mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah so that's why I, I this got changed prior to COVID because that was uh the council's intent we wanted to make sure parents who that was a just course initiative yeah they really wanted to make sure I watch all every council meetings were available to everyone not yeah. just yeah. people who retired 
they wanted to make sure it was available to all. all and that people. was from Jeff Kors? Yes. And, and, you're, there, so. and you're supposed to be over 18 to serve on a board. And at the time it was proposed to also break yeah, that school. requirement, but that never happened, correct? Right, right. So, yeah. Wasn't there some kind of represent a youth representative? I thought I read something about it. There are some commissions, and the Parks right. and Recreation Commission has a youth component. They have a non-voting member similar to Joy's role, and then they have a youth person who attends commissions. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, that makes sense because Parks yeah. and Rec is... Yeah, you diversify the thought process. Yeah, and they're, and they're also one of the primary users of, of all the facilities of that mm -hmm. commission. Exactly. So, so. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry I have to bring this up, but I... I just don't see Friday happening for me. And I really want to be there and I don't want to give up the seat because I'm, I'm really getting a lot out of what we're doing and enjoying this and we're coming together. But I specifically said it has to be, I can do a morning thing or an evening thing or like an afternoon kind of three o'clock ish break away for a couple of hours. But well, we'll take good notes. I mean, I think you've got a legitimate point. I mean, you have a job and you can't break away from that. Chris is going to be there, right? Because right. it's at this facility. You take a long yeah. lunch. And the four of us to, to do it later. You come from Palm Desert, right? No, La Quinta. Later. No, oh, La Quinta. No, 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 no
It's more about data analysis, right. categories, yeah. data analysis, yeah. ratios. Well, we can change it, um, or we okay. can decide on Friday, and, and we can adjust the agenda moving forward. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Any staff reports? Um, just wanted to remind everybody about the study session on Friday, and then also we are going to um, agree with to do, uh, conduct another partnership with Power Baseball, which we did last year yep. as well. So we do an exchange of services. They'll come out to Village Press at no cost, and then they promote us at all of their baseball games with a large banner, and then throughout their announcements um, at the games. Um, did anything ever come of the radio station that we were? We never heard back from them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Was really they unfortunate. They were, yeah, yeah, they were very excited about it. But I obviously I sent all the requirements. The board asked, you know, what are the time frames? He could provide us a cost so we can compare. And then they never got back to us. And well, they went to a merger just recently, didn't they? I'm not sure. I don't know. There's two radio stations in town. Mm -hmm. And Brad, what's his name? Q, he them. bought Q, but that has nothing to do with okay. it. Okay. Okay, let's close it out. So then. well, wait a minute. So so we were talking about Friday. So the goal for Friday, let's just all be clear on that, is is to review the data analysis. She said it's the, 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 I know, but it's very brief, right? So it's to review the data analysis. It's to then review how heavy we are in certain categories. We're also going to talk about the subcategories, making them either more specific or more accurate. That on the application. Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing is if we want to make any changes to guidelines as far as either putting in a max percentage for any category or for all categories, um, if we want to make that change, Jasmine, is that something then we have to propose to council? So if you want to adjust the rules and regulations and have it stated in the rules and regulations, then yes, that has to go into the staff report and to city council for approval. If you want to make it a board policy that is something that you all agree upon yes. and that you will follow it as a board, then no. Okay, okay so that's, that's just the policy that the board is, it runs by. So we that's can what also, we can also, because one of my points was I wanted to see us be able to limit categories even on a temporary basis. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's, that's the and thing that's, I would like Yeah, and that's policy because we've done that before. Remember for the uh, jewelry, we said- Well, candles, that. jewelry. Yeah. Right, but it's been done in the past as a policy of the board, not okay. rules and regulations. Which can, Do we document the policy yeah. just for us? Okay, I just yeah. wanted to make sure so it's clear. And then should the board have a change? Like we're all, I don't know about you guys, but I'm supposed to be up for renewal at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Julie, I was up for renewal term, last you year. Know? You should be up for renewal this year. I was supposed to be up last year. You were, yeah. But but I was temporarily extended. So what I understand is you had to put an application. I had to put an application. Did you I put, didn't. Okay. And so, nobody asked me to. Unless they I put everything back a year, I don't know. But by date, you're supposed to be. But then we did have a one year hiatus or right. almost a year hiatus for COVID. They usually call me, but they yeah. have not called yet. So if if something changes with the board, if any of us are not here or whatever, does that policy stick until they, okay, that's all. Then I prefer to do it as policy. Do we all agree on yep. that? Yep. Because I, I don't think it's necessary to go before the board, because like you said, then it's a mother may I. And the mother may I is okay. unnecessary for okay, then it. Then it gets flipped like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and then you don't have the ability to make changes. Yeah, because so to get that in stone. Wait, really yeah. Back to council, where it has policy, as board policy, yeah. you have the ability to say, okay, now we were way below, we're at 3% of this, and we really do want to bring it back up. It ends up on your agenda, you make that motion, and then it becomes, okay. you can open okay. it back up. How come we have it? A real clear? Good. Okay, sorry, I got to take um, uh, you know, We're looking for a, a mentor, or whoever, a counselor from city council, but don't you guys report to a new director of parks and recreation? Mm -hmm. That's do, not a council person. Though. I know, but shouldn't they at least show up to introduce themselves to us? They have. She yeah, came. She she it was a it was, was, uh, a, Zoom it was a Zoom meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, when she first started. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe like July. Or so. I just wondered what her yeah. thoughts were. Yeah. Rather than starting to hear from city council, they're going to eventually go to her. But I, just I think it's a very unique situation that Jeffrey Bernstein had very specific opinions on on Village Fest, like he mentioned the Brooklyn Art Fair, blah blah. Right. But but. Um, I was taking the opportunity for us to actually have sort of a, not a mentor, uh, like an ally 
on the on the city council to assist us with actually getting to the city council because we don't really get much so oh, sorry um so so that's why but your point is very well taken so, and we don't want it to be permission and we don't want oversight it's not necessary to, because if that's the point then they don't need a board they don't need a board then every vendor should be jury during the thursday because nights uh my point like, exactly is he going to want to sit and listen to us is he going to want to come he, to a meeting he wanted to come to one of these meetings and i basically said you're more than welcome to come but what i would advise you is you will be bored sitting there listening to each vendor give but their I'm spiel Friday, anything, when he yeah. comes on friday his purpose is what to uh, to tell us what he to address some the ideas that he has and which, to, which is, shouldn't he know what the, the board does i think he wants yeah. so i've been trying to edu i tried to educate him on that because so, i explained the process to him because he said to me I think we should be curating the vendors. And I said, well, that's exactly what we do in every meeting twice a month is we're curating vendors. We also recruit. Yeah. 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 So and anyway, he's a business owner. Are we yeah, done? Yeah. Business owner yeah. and he's got Any close I think we're done. Yeah, we are. Done. Are we all done? Yeah. Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? I make a motion. We adjourn the meeting. I'll second. Okay. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All in favor, aye. Yeah. Opposed, no. Can we can we kill that? At Chris's studio. Yeah.